Hello, and welcome back, everyone. Welcome to what might be the last session of the Jade Wings. We've been through quite a journey. We've been through quite a journey together, and with these six players journeying across the continent, fighting off various monsters, 
and dealing with the odd machinations of gods. But here we are. The party is all here. And the end game is upon them. So let us join back with our players. Good evening, everyone. Welcome back. How are you guys all feeling today? I would totally not grab it for a fraction of a second, and you can't prove me otherwise. <laughs> I'm excited. Terrified. Oh but God, I think I said right. this enough. <laughs> <laughs> I am also terrified, but I also have some chicken parmesan, so I'm happy. <laughs> Hell yeah. I've got spicy potatoes. Spicy potato. So basically, oh, we got snacks. We got snacks for this game. I do not. I have no snack. Ah, uh, go get snacks. I had, I, I, had snacks. I had dinner prior, so I'm good. That sucks yeah. to be you. I had Mickey D's earlier. Uh. Uh, no, no, Matt. The nut has not been found. The nut has not been found. I think the nut will have to wait until the next arc. We, if we survive yeah. for the next arc. If we survive. We may have We may have What we, do you mean if? We're gonna make it. We're gonna You're make gonna it. make it. We are pray, gonna make it. Pray we need not use the contingency. Oh, God. The contingency. <laughs> the the contingency. reliable. <laughs> Uh. Regardless, the nut, the battle, of, the battle of nut will probably wait until the next arc. From the way, the way that it seems to be going, which I'm fine with. <laughs> oh, Coda, uh, yeah. quick yeah, update. No, oh. <laughs> huh? So, in the Should event we... that we uh, that today doesn't go very well, we have used the nuclear option. Also, mm, I'm, I'm the sorry. nuclear option. Yeah. Do you know we what just put up? No, huh? chat. We will not elaborate. Do you the know what the nuclear option, option is, Cody? Me and Emma we... have a nuclear option. No, we will, we will not no. elaborate. We will not elaborate. <laughs> you have a lesser nuclear option. <laughs> let's let's just say that you will get your elaboration later, and oh. Uh, Probably in a story format. Can I just say in, in, a, in a story format you will learn you y'all will learn what it is. I have exactly. prepared. Uh also by the way, do y'all realize how like stacked you made Beck? Uh, yeah, I'm, no, I'm looking at point. you, Angel at uh, you, Angel and Havoc, because yeah. one <laughs> am I allowed to talk about this? Sure. Angel on fire has yeah, so okay. we did some shopping fire. between episodes. Yeah, yeah you uh, okay, better. so um, Angel bought me a ring of invisibility, and uh -huh. Havoc gave me the the silencing dog. Because you would make far better use of that silencing dog than yes. I ever could. But I, but because I just leveled up to level fourteen, I now have the spell invisibility. I don't exist. Because you'll need it. <laughs> yeah, that's why we need to be stacked. We need to be stacked as possible for this. Oh, We've yeah. been buffed the hell up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You on think fire? Welcome, Heck. I oh, think no. you might have gotten the oh, tamest no. buffs. I'll leave so it. Basically, y'all just made it so me and the dog are non-existent. So, hold on. Uh, Coda, uh, legit, legit question. If we had done, like, the nut quest prior to this, would Beck even stick around with the party to face the BBEG, or would they just be like, Oh, I got my nut. I'm good. See ya. Um, that is actually a really good question. I know for a fact that once Beck got the nut, uh, if we did it before this, it would be very much more like self-preservation. Their, their, high, their sense of self-preservation would be much higher. <laughs> yeah, that's what um, I figured. <laughs> but I believe, depending on how well the heist went, they would know that they would have people after them. So they would probably stick with the party for self-defense. <laughs> yeah. And they're probably gonna need you guys for self-defense for a while afterwards. 
obviously the safest place to be with the people who get themselves into life or death situations every other day. I mean, yeah, but you also keep living, so... You know what? That's fair. Mm-hmm. We'll see how much longer that lasts. Yeah, we'll see how much longer that lasts. <laughs> oh god, I am nervous. But so also I, I am... I am racking my brain. My... I don't know what's happening. I actually have no idea what's going on. <laughs> my, my gut is doing wave dashes. I so Coda. I a think Coda dance emote. Hell yeah! You didn't know yep. about the Coda dance emote? I didn't realize you uploaded it to Twitch. Oh yeah, I did. Yep. Anyway, sorry, Angel. What? Uh, none of us have any idea what's going on. No. Oh yeah, I was hyping up the campaign to bonfire earlier. <laughs> We have we have an idea of what goes on if the fight goes horribly wrong. But we have to get if it happens. happens. But it's it, it's not going to. We're gonna. It's not we've going got to. to. Why need a contingency for uh, exactly. something that'll never happen? Because to be prepared, and the option is uh, that nah. You know. Prepared for D and D party. <laughs> my ass. Prepared for failure? No. <laughs> Imagine. The six of you oh, are walking through the forest on the hunt for the next Elder Brain Dragon. Seven of you, technically, as Maverick is with you. Can we have your lawn back, please? And eight, back. As a portal appears and a familiar, heavily armored figure steps out. Yes! Ah. So you're back. I can't talk to him! Where the hell have you been? I was dropped in an arena full of skeletons. Sounds fun. Beck just kind of does like the. Okay, show off the like the the what the fuck hands together. Uh, toggle you have? That's what Beck's doing. It's like. Might want to turn my mic up. Okay. Why? Testing, testing. There we go. That be <clears throat> I don't think they chose to go. Back. I think they were likely taken against their will. Hey, someone's <laughs> echoing. Probably me. Hold up. It's head always me. If something's echoing, it's always me. Put you your headphones, headphones on, Kevin. <laughs> no, I refuse to wear headphones, and you can't make me. And you wonder why we hear you echoing? <laughs> Okay, that's just just wonder if she knows exactly why. (laughs) Leave me be. Anyway. Why? I have no idea. Well, good to have you back, buddy. Uh, We're about to go to the Battle of the Death, probably. (laughs) Uh... You should know all about that being dead, no? Right, yeah, about the, same, about the same amount of death. We're going to another Elder Brain Dragon. Very well. My thought, exactly. But once we get, once we kill this slash uh, Elder Dragon, then we're out of here and getting my nut. Sure. Sounds like a pen. Alright. Anyway, where are we going? <laughs> uh... Uh-oh. Andy, you hear a voice quiet in your head. <sighs> Andy, come to me. Mm. Mm. Fuck, my audio cut out. What did I miss? <laughs> <laughs> you... God damn it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I've been trying to talk for the past oh five God is five, for the past you. 30 seconds. Oh, no, that's just Discord being Your a bit. god is talking to you. Oh, fuck. You hear you a voice. To pick, up his, pick up his calls. You hear a voice in your head, one that you haven't heard in a long time, Andy. Andy, come to me. Come to the city. <coughs> okay. You good? Uh- Come to the city. I'm assuming that means get the fuck out of the forest. Uh. Elf city. The what city? No, like you, you're. Oh, uh, the elf city. 
a uh, weak day and <laughs> Is that Yo uh, took Redigen in the Elder Force. What? <laughs> this uh, is Emma asking what the fuck. Uh <laughs> You feel a strong pull to that tower that you saw last time. Awesome, cool. I'm gonna head that way. Bondi just starts walking. She doesn't even look towards Erlon, even though she's dying to. And she just kind of trance-like. Just doesn't even tell anyone where she's going. Just off she shoot. Off she fucks. What? I will follow. Bondi? Bondi. She Come seems on. to know where she's going. I'm following her. The rest of us have no clue where we're going, so... <laughs> I'm following the A direction, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Your mistake thinking she knows where she's going. Uh, with any semblance of actual awareness. But anyway, um. I mean, your guess is as like... good as any of the rest of ours, so why not? <coughs> I'm so sorry, these potatoes are very spicy. <laughs> um, so. When she gets to the tower, what does she say? You, uh, you find the shattered and destroyed remains of what looks to be a once opulent city built in the, uh, built in the trees. Houses sung from the wood. Trees that were grown in particular patterns in order to make natural homes. All wrecked ah. and ruined. The only thing left being the a cobblestone road through the center leading to what you can see in the distance to be some kind of large structure and a mass sitting inside of it. Excuse me. Mm. Well, that Excuse broke. Me. That is not what I meant to happen. <laughs> I was just trying to make a playlist. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, hey, Coda, um, my pronouns are actually she, they. Oh, my bad, my bad. No, oh, you're totally fine. I realized that I said it a long time ago. I didn't, I didn't realize it. I haven't updated it, like, anywhere. So, like, it's totally fine just for next time. Um, but okay. even story days. <laughs> no, you're fine. It's totally fine. I'm just, you're fine. Uh. Yeah, Coda, we haven't, we haven't, we haven't assaulted a Geneva convention yet. <laughs> what do you mean I'm fired? <laughs> <coughs> oh my god, don't die. Not yet. I'm not trying to. <clears throat> Jesus. Or go to your fire. Turn in your mod badge and your gun. <laughs> Sorry. I misspoke and... there. Everybody else, you guys see a large archway with a odd mass inside of it. Mm -hmm. Andy, oh, boy. you no. see an opulent golden dragon. No, no, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, it yes. is coiled inside of the uh, the archway. Oh, no. Oh. I... Dead sprint. Get... Full I'll, dead I'll... sprint. I guess uh... this will, like, put a hand on Andy's shoulder. Absolutely the fuck not, you will. <laughs> Athletics what? check. <laughs> Augustus, you see the. Uh, my apologies. Augustus, you see the dragon too. Oh. What? Oh, oh no. That's. Oh, you did good? What Why is you Augustus? <sighs> Why are you looking at that weird, wiggly mass? Oh no, but... Andy is full dead sprint. I will make whatever the fuck check I need to make. She is. What the? On. Yeah, I'm gonna try to hold Andy back. Um, Augustus I is just will... stood aback, stunned. Uh, Augustus, uh, my warrior, join uh, me. Are you all doing okay? My wonderful child, come <coughs> to me. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on it, I promise. And, she, like, is Roxy actually trying to stop her? Are you? Are uh, you yeah, Broxigar's gonna, like, 
hold her from like running forward. Augustus will start walking forward. Fuck, I've only got one hand. hand. Ernest is gonna hold Augustus Good and luck. like try to see. Can I see? Can Broxy guard, Broxy, see? that's my god. Broxy guard, let me go. Let me go. Are you talking about that? No. Oh that shit! Is. Welcome oh, Raiders. Raiders. Oh, Hello, oh my god, Raiders! Oh my god! Welcome Raiders. Um, my name is Kroll Artemia. I am your undead dungeon master for the evening. Uh, we are in what might be the last session of our campaign. Uh, welcome, Winterbound. Hello, welcome back. I remember you uh, raiding uh, last week, I think. Uh, uh, How are you, are you doing? Wait, uh, uh, my leg back I'm is a... gonna help Ernest hold back Augustus, but they're so small that their just feet are uh, dragging. Uh, Emma. <laughs> yeah, what? Uh, was, was, uh, was Andy saying that I'm trying bit out loud or in her head? Yeah. No, absolutely out loud. Okay, uh, Andy, are you talking to that weird wiggly mass? That mass is my god. Excuse that looks, me. That looks. Andy, I don't what? know what that thing is, but I can promise you it's not a god. I'm gonna bite Brock's hand. <laughs> okay, so what, uh, what color is your god, Andy? Gold. Uh, yeah, that ain't gold. I'm How fighting. fucked up is the mass? Um, what do I need I to I will avoid? show you. Oh. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, boy. Oh, oh, oh battle. No. Oh, oh. Boy. Mm. Hold on. What? 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 Hold on. <clears throat> Andy it's and Augustus, right. you two uh, still see... <laughs> Uh, the golden regal form of Metis. The rest of you see this. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Uh oh! A yeah. maw full of jagged, wrong teeth, tentacles oh. undulating from this thing's back, no, no, spreading so out to the edges of that portal, seeming to hold it open. Oh. oh my gosh. <sighs> what the fuck? It's yeah. the word undulating again. It's uh, uh, Shut the fuck up, Havoc! Its disgusting <coughs> mouth opens wide, and you all hear My warriors come join your god. Uh what a kid. Did Jokes we... on you! I don't have a gun. Uh, can can <laughs> I try and sh like with smacking either Andy or Augustus, snap them out of the trance that this thing seems to have them in? We, uh, you may attempt to shake them. Oop. You may attempt to shake them out of it. Um, Augustus and Andy both make me religion checks very hard at disadvantage. A disadvantage? Ooh. Fuck. Yes. Uh, do I have to roll anything? Oh, Ooh, I'm not really 20s. bad at this. Two nat twenties. Oh, uh, that's a two. Oh. Fuck. Oh, did oh. it roll for <gasps> a disadvantage? Andy. Two dirty twenties. You did. Andy, oh, you you look and you kind of shake yourself, and the golden brilliance is gone, and oh. you see the sliming pinkish mass. You still see... <clears throat> my mic keeps peaking, holy shit. Um, you still see the general form of Metis is the same. But now that you can see all the changes and the seven elder brains <laughs> latched to its back. Oh! <laughs> oh, no! No! Oh, no. Oh, fun. Yeah. I'm gonna... <gasps> Oh, it took over me. Oh, no. This thing took over a fucking god. This thing took over oh, Augustus. I, I, wow, I really was close. Augustus. Oh, like, you guys oh. talking about Metis earlier. I had to hold this. No, I was talking about the Clark, but I was close. I'm so sorry. Oh, uh, someone else is echoing I, I, I said, I, I said, how much more Metis to Clark? Just have all the elder brains. Like, oh, just an experiment. I was close, hey, though. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, uh, so, Augustus still believes that this is Metis, right? Yes, you still see the opulent golden form of a uh, lung dragon. Well, uh, then Augustus, Augustus, wake Augustus, up! I Augustus, don't like oh, this! Augustus, Augustus, wake up! Augustus, like if you let me finish, is going to take a knee and is going to pull out his prayer beads and recite something. 
Uh, Absolutely. Is this uh, the prayer you were writing earlier? It is, yes. Oh, shit. Fuck oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't like this. All right. Metis, I have not been one of your most devout followers, nor have I been the most upstanding of your tenants. But I pray to you in a time of great need. My comrades and I have reconstructed a weapon from the legends of Grokken, uh, the arrowhead of total destruction. Uh, a weapon, what? A weapon <laughs> once used by a crafty band of adventurers to banish a great evil to the Astral Sea. Its use created the crater, now sea, at Grokken's heart, and we intend to use it once more to annihilate the festering corruption at the depths of the Elder Forest. I am loath to use such a dishonorable device, for its employment would mean the certain doom of untold thousands and engulf the continent of Yolan's chaos. I beseech of you, Ometus, to guide this foolish gladiator to a victory where we need not use this abominable device, to a victory where the many innocent lives of the Elder Forest, the Usult Empire, and the continent as a whole may be spared the wrath of this indiscriminate weapon. Amen. I hear your words. And all of the rest of you hear this. It is speaking out oh. loud at the moment. Mm. Oh. To save the forest, kill the lich. She is the corruption. Mm. Uh, I don't mm. believe you. Yeah, uh, mm. The lich. Andy. So this is like Andy's dad now, right? <laughs> he is referring to like like when when they refer to you as my child. It's the same way as everybody is referring to uh, the fact that you are an Acer. Ah, uh, but like that's still her god, mm-hmm. and. Am I correct in assuming that Andy would be able to connect the dots and be like, oh, that that is Metis? This, yes, this very much looks like Metis, like, this is what Metis' avatar looks like. But, but corrupted. She's hit the deck. Full, on her knees, gut-wrenching scream. Just not having a good day. Andy's now gonna like start thinking back, realizing she hasn't heard from Metis in a while, and every time she tries to contact him, he's just mute. And like, this isn't, this isn't good. But now she's also wondering where the fuck are her powers coming from? Could you try to use divine intervention to use its own power against it? Oh my god, yes, absolutely. <laughs> you jumped a little bit ahead of me there, Rock. <laughs> but alright. And so, to kind of test out this theory, she's gonna, uh... St- she's gonna stop screaming. She's gonna pull herself together. Mm. Just a little bit. She's going to uh, pull out her staff and like slam it on the ground and accidentally slam it on Augustus's foot. (laughs) 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 Wouldn't it be his paw? But anyway, (laughs) I either way, just accidentally as hard as fucking possible. I will roll for that if you want me to. No, I'm not trying. Okay, That's I'm not trying to, like, cause him actual damage. I'm just trying to do, like, a cognitive reset, you know? Just, like, a good old painful, <laughs> Turn, like... Turning it off and on again. <laughs> All right. Percussive maintenance. <laughs> and then she's gonna do the uh, divine intervention, if possible. And so what exactly are you trying to do with your divine intervention? Uh, I'm gonna try and get Metis to talk to me. Just, that is all I want him to come out and talk to me so I can prove to myself, or Andy can prove to herself that, no, that's not Meta standing in front of her. That's 
that's a horrible copy, but it's not him, and her god is still alive. You slam your staff down and implore, implore uh, your god to appear before you. And for a second, nothing happens. Another second. And another. Fuck. And then... Light sparkles in the air. Coalesce. Hey! Into... The form of... A woman. Damn it. (laughs) With half of her body desiccated and the other half brimming with life. Oh. Holding what it looks to be some sort of creature. Uh, and upon excuse me. closer inspection, you can see that she is holding the small, dying body of a dragon. <laughs> if, oh... Is it a baby? It looks like Metis, but smaller. Was it my baby? <laughs> no, like, like okay, she's, it's like just she's holding Metis dying. <laughs> uh, I will reach up, or Andy will reach up and just kind of ask if she can hold him. Just like, you know, is that? We are not really here, child. What so that you ask. Um, I I have a question for you first. I'm assuming my power hasn't been coming from Metis for some time. Kind of gesturing towards the fucking mass, the undulating, gross thing. It uh, has been. Oh. He has been dying, keeping you going. Well, I I don't want him to die to give me power, what? You and your friends are the only thing that could save him. Is there a way to save him? Like, actually save him? Without killing that avatar? Or... No. You must. Kill the avatar. Yes. All right. Um. How? The brains. The same way most things die. Kill it with fire. Got it. Uh. <laughs> no. Uh. So um. Then we'll kill it. Then um. Shit, I didn't think this through. Uh, then, is there anything you can do to help us? I can. Okay. Call upon me when you need me. All right. And I will do what I can for you. I... And as she says this, her body dissipates. (laughs) Cool. That so, uh, Augustus, that you are that's our god, that that would be the god that is sitting in front of us. Uh, Augustus still sees the golden dragon, right? Uh, Augustus, make me another religion check at disadvantage. Mm, no, at this point, no. percussive, uh, four. Uh, yeah, Augustus, you still see the opulent golden form of Metis. Oh my uh. god. But cool. you are still you are starting to be like Huh. Something's not adding up. Hmm. Percussive maintenance? Did Memphi get a haircut? <laughs> Did you like a good haircut? Uh I'm just <laughs> Andy is gonna like down on Augustus's level, cause he's still kneeling, right? Yes. She's gonna like get down on his level and put her hands on his face and then just Pull them apart really fast, and then <laughs> slam them back onto Augustus. Oh shit! <laughs> All right. Wake up. 
Cognitive reset. <laughs> Make me a me? con save, Augustus. A con save? All yes. right. Oh uh, net, 20, net 20. You are... Uh, Andy kind of lightly slaps you on the face. <laughs> God damn. The one time you had to pull the 20. Boy. God damn. Oh, wait. Does the restoration work here? You can I mean, I it. think you already got it, so... Oh, okay. No, no, Augustus, like, didn't feel it at all. Oh. Never mind. So you could certainly try to find intervention. Thinking or not to find intervention. To save the my spells. Well, that is your trouble. Warriors, go and kill the lich. We're not killing the lich. Shut up. <laughs> I, I, as a player, I, as a player, genuinely do not remember the Lich. Is that Cassandra. the person we met? Oh, Cassandra, yes. Oh shit. No. Andy, why are you like this? I... I would you... give you a new egg. That's a low blow, fuck. That's Whoa. it. Get his ass. Oh, that's it. That's that's the trigger. That's shit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> would do. I know what I, the player, should not do, but I know what my character would do. Do, yeah, it. No. do it. Do it. Do it. Do, do it. Do, do it. If it's in character, do it. <laughs> do what uh, your heart she's says. She's gonna step forward, and she's going to. <laughs> Mark's gonna stay next to her. Uh, step forward, and she is going to, um, Paul. This is the first time I get to use the spell. I'm so excited. Uh, call down, um, oh, I guess this is the first time Andy gets to use the spell. Uh, but I. I'm going to cast Wall of Fire, and I'm just going to let everyone like see what it does. Uh, just because it's 60 feet long, so it's not going to be enough to, like, you know. Hello, motherfucker. Cover it all. But is it possible to, like, have it cut through the center of this thing? Uh, one second. In the wall of fire? I, I can step forward more if I need to. Just one second. Come on, rule of cool. <laughs> Whew. Man, are we off to a roaring start? We are off to a okay. very, very So, start. what is it that you want to do? I just kind of want to, like, trap it literally in the wall of fire. Mm, I remember that. Mm. <laughs> Ernest is going to have a little bit of peek. Uh, that you can do. Okay. Draw for me cause... where you want it to be. Okay. Uh... And then... I need everybody to roll initiative. Oh boy, here it goes. Yeah! Let's go! Oh, let's Where's go. the... Where's the point where it's two feet? No, 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 you don't know that just yet. I'm not gonna die. Feet? We're gonna do amazing. Wow. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, nice. Ooh. Nice. Hold on. That's, That's what, what we like that. to see. Oh. <laughs> 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 God damn! Not one immediately. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Erlon is also gonna roll initiative. Uh, yes, you will be playing Erlon as his own, uh, as a second PC. There we go. That is fine by me, cause he is beefy as fuck. Hey, Kay, can you delete this, this thing? There it is. Never mind, I got it. Okay. Erlon. All right. 
You uh, create me... uh, this wall. Got his dick off. <laughs> Got his dick <laughs> off. <laughs> what is with our party today? Jesus, we're on one. Um, oh, I, 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 oh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm still we're, worried. Yeah, we're in for some bullshit yeah. today. Already. Yep. Andy, you create the wall of fire. On the ground beneath this creature. When the wall appears, every creature needs to make a deck save. Alrighty. Uh, my save is. Uh, oh my god. I think 18. he doesn't make it. Alrighty. Roll the damage. Cool, cool. It, it, it didn't make it. Um, Holy shit. Having a good time. Having a good time. Having a good, good time. time. 23 fire damage. Yeah, I know. It's not a lot. But it's... On but oh, oh. This thing just stays. The wall... Uh, the wall appears. Flames licking at this, uh, at this creature's flesh. It appears unbothered. Oh yeah, boy, the mutant fire. Ernest visibly flinches when the of wall course, first appears. It's just gold dragon at the core. It but the fucking, the fucking things that's like infected it. Yeah, but they take <laughs> its aspects. All of my shit is fire, guys. Oh, Do you no. have radiant uh, damage? Uh, yeah. Okay. Did you take radiant any radiant? No, because I haven't transformed yet. <clears throat> Transform? Wait. Damn it! Okay, I will as soon as I get. Oh, fuck you, what for? Radiant hopefully should work. Well, it's also, also it's the Avatar of God, so who knows? I don't know. Maybe not. Uh, I, I sure know. <laughs> it also might not be bothered by it because it's a minuscule amount of damage. I don't think that's the case. Roxigar, it is your turn. The creature begins to. Uh, after Andy hits it, the creature begins to stand up. Oh. oh. How? It how is a... It is... Its general form is that of a massive uh, mutated dragon. Its eight massive tentacles are all in the portal, seeming to hold it open and hold it together. Black Razor, you know what time it is. Uh, <laughs> why are there two Orlans on the board? I or think, oh, I think you rolled board. one and also Beck Oh, I think one. that we, I think we, here, uh, the one that's next to Beck, uh, don't remove, remove the other one. Yeah, there. I already had him on the board. <laughs> I didn't realize, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oops, my bad. Broxigar, you feel a surge of energy pulse through you as you are hasted. Pick his ass. Oh. Let's me get right up there if I use my hasted action to dash. Oh. <clears throat> uh, I am going to take three attacks on this motherfucker. Jesus uh, Christ, is that? Fun? You know, I'm about to say, can we see the health bar from the thing? Then I look up. Oh, that is the health bar. Oh, does it 20 hit? <laughs> no. Oh. Does oh, it 23 hit? Barely. Oh. 25. Uh. Okay. Let's re-roll that one. I mean, hey, Before, so... Angel, you did say that you wanted to bring down a god. Now he's your chance. Yeah. So that's uh, 17 slashing damage and uh, 14 slashing damage. So 31 slashing damage. Uh, and then I'm going to use my bonus action uh, to use Blood Drinker. And I've got a question. Is that only for one of the attacks or all of no, them? No, that is for all of the attacks that you hit on a creature in a single turn. But it's, okay. it has to be the same creature. So if you hit, if you action the surge and hit six different creatures, you can only choose one of them. Okay, okay, yeah. Perfect. Uh, that means I get 15 hit points back. Yep. Okay. Not that we need it. Roxigar right charges <laughs> forward, slashing three times this creature on the second and the third. He opens up rents in its flesh. 
black razor seeming to drink the, the literal blood pouring from its wounds. And some of Broxigar's injuries from the last fight are sealed. Oh, God. Hi. Well. Head the fuck. Anything else on your turn, Broxigar? Uh, I think that'll be it. Metis is going to take two legendary actions. Yep, that sounds about right. Uh, to make a furious bite. Crunchity, crunchity! <laughs> 24 hit you, Broxigar. Uh, yeah, that'll hit. You're going to take 19 piercing and 20 force damage. I'm guessing oh. this piercing is magical? It is not considered magical. Okay, so that's halved because of my armor. Yep. So... Uh, that's, what, 9 piercing damage? 24, so 29. And I need you to make me a DC 27 wisdom saving throw. I can't. Does a nat 20 automatically succeed? Fortunately not. Okay, then I fail. You are frightened of this creature until the end of its next turn. Well, then you are fine. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) You are frightened. Nope. Oh, bam. (laughs) <laughs> okay. Monday, <laughs> it is your turn. Is it time? Is, is it, it time? It's go time. time. To go all out. Do everything you can. Is this the boss? Yes. Yes. Cool. Then yeah. it is time. Oh god. Yeah. The time now is 736. <laughs> it is in fact time. Okay. Uh-huh. Do the thing. Whenever somebody says, hey, do you have a thing, is the most terrifying thing you could ever hear. Andi disappears in a flash of bright light. Oh. Oh. And in her place is a massive blue skinned angel. Oh. Oh. What? Someone gotta glow up. As. The magic of Ulanis transforms you, Andi, into a planetar. Oh, oh what? my god. Hi. What is oh. a planetar? Oh my god. What? Hi. What is that? I told you guys I was giving Love you that. all buffs. I don't know what a planetar is, I'm sorry. It's, it's an angel. A, a planetar is a it's powerful a, angel. A very and powerful the hand angel. Of god. You see, when I hear the word planetar, I'm like, what? A literal celestial. I hear planetar, and I'm like, is that like an angelic centaur? (laughs) 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 In my head. (laughs) Uh, Alright, let's have some fun. I think this is time. Time. Okay. Um, flying. Is my action already taken, or no? It does take your action to transform. Okay, uh, but while if I'm probably gonna disappear unless I can still maintain concentration on it, but probably. You can still maintain concentration on the wall of fire, but it's not okay. doing anything. Okay, I'm just gonna let it go. Let's just let it go. Um, I don't really have anything I can do. Uh, you so. Can fly up to it. Yeah, but that sounds like a really shitty idea. Damn, the music got- damn, K, the music got a glow up. All of the music is, that I've been using for the past couple sessions is from Michael Gelfi Studios on YouTube. Oh! They so make a whole lot of uh, non-DMC music available for Twitch streamers with a focus uh. on D&D. <gasps> oh, you know what I can do? Go okay. subscribe! I have 120 feet if K didn't ban them, you could drop a link to their channel in chat. <laughs> My mods can drop links all they want. Okay, uh, Beck. Oh, Why is there a fucking... You wanna... What? Oh, yeah, that was a... Wait a minute! No, you know what I can do? Okay. Uh, for the first time in what is, like, what, weeks now? 
Andi can talk Erlon. <laughs> You're not gonna waste your no, 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 no. But you know what I can do? You know what I can do? With this, this, like, he's up next. So instead of having him waste movement trying to get there, I can just grab him and take him over there. Oh. <laughs> That's 40 feet, and then I have 80 feet left. So I can get him here. So that's what oh, I'm I know what you're doing. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna carry if he's down for it, I guess. Yeah, he, he can sense. To here. Okay. Cool. Thank uh, you. And <laughs> I'm also just above, flying above. Alrighty. Um, and I will end my turn. It is our launch turn. All right. Um. <laughs> uh, if I take the dash action, that makes it um makes it so I can't attack, right? Yes. You uh, can, as a rogue, you can take the dash as a bonus action. This is a rogue. I, I'm, I'm playing a lot oh, right now. Oh, yeah, my bad. I control. I'm, I'm just controlling Farlon for the first time, and it's oh, at the big bad. The big bad. Oh god. Um. <laughs> Please don't die. I'm gonna try not to. <laughs> also, for the purposes of this, you are not in direct sunlight. Duly noted. Um. There's a Hold lot up. of fun on that after all. I'm double checking something. What? <laughs> mm -hmm. uh... Oh, uh, if you started your turn in my green circle, your uh, movement speed is increased by 10 feet. Unfortunately, he did not, though, as uh, Emma had already moved him before the yeah. start of his turn. Wait, does that mean when I entered? No, because you, you didn't start your turn there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Aura of alacrity kind of sucks. <laughs> How much speed of movement do we? All right. Um. Ooh. Ooh. You know what? <laughs> Let's. I'll just go. Ah, this is really tough. <laughs> I'm not used to playing what I assume is a fighter. No, this is a base. This is like just a vampire stat block. Oh, really? Shit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still not used to melee. <laughs> I'm never used to melee. I'm a magic user. Melee is based. Melee. 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 I don't know. I prefer, I prefer the brawl. Probably career. Um, I'm more of a spellcaster. You know what? I am gonna, <laughs> I'm going to allow uh, Erlon to take the dash action just so I can get like right up next to Rockstar and just ready to like Erlon flurry <laughs> once, uh, once it's his turn again. Already? I think that's what I'm going to do. I know that I know it's not very helpful, but it's going to help later on. Already. Anything else? Uh, I don't think I have any. Yeah, I don't have any bonus action stuff, so I end my turn there. Already. Cracks up. Okay, so since I'm right next to Augustus, what boost do I get again? 10 feet. 10 feet, 10 feet to movement. Alright, cool. Uh, so I'll boost my 30 to 40 for the time being, and uh, I, yeah, 40, so I can only really move like up, like right about here, as far as I can go. Uh, hmm. And just to reiterate, I can do, I can spell and then fire with an arrow, right? I could, I'd like. You can cast a bonus action spell and then fire with your arrow. Okay. A bonus action casts Hunter's Mark on this on this elder on this elder core. And then I'm gonna fire at it this time. What bow are you using? The Dragon Wing Longbow. Okay. So here. 
so let's just pray that it lands. The arrow never, the, the bow never made that sound when I held it before. That's new. <laughs> what in the hell? <laughs> what happened? I don't know what just happened. Yeah, I don't what know. What in the nine <laughs> spheres of hell? Dragon is has going to played the anime mode sound effect. I know. <laughs> oh, I wasn't in the screen share. Damn. Okay. I missed uh, it. Yeah. Let's just hope that I land with the dragon with longbow. So here's the first attack. After the fight, Praxin taking the bow to a blacksmith. I need you to work out the kinks. The bow's like, I like feet. The blacksmith's like, shut up. <laughs> and the 24 does hit. Alright. The bow says I like that too. And then here's the second roll from extra attack. Oh wow. Yep, 26 hit. Alright. And then Hunter's Mark damage for each. So here for the first one. Here for the second one. So we all together, we have... 23 piercing damage, 14 lightning damage, and then 7 from Hunter's Mark. You oh, hit it with it. your two arrows, um, Praxen, and lightning crackles across its body. The arrows definitely punctured its flesh, but it seems unbothered by the lightning. Alright then. It, it is an aspect of all dragons. It's there now. Oh, shit. Alright. Uh, not well, that pretty much does it for Praxin, and is Mavic within range to get also get that movement boost, or is that only for like... I believe he would have had to start in the green. I, I, don't, I don't think I see the green, hold on. Yeah, I uh, okay. But anyway, Mavic is just going to walk, or like run up all the way up here and just stay close to Praxton. It's gonna stay close for the time being. Alrighty. Augustus. Do I see what Metis has become now? Yes. As Metis goes down to bite at Broxigar. You do see the illusion fade. By the old gods and the new, what have you become? Oh. And I will, I will click my winged boots, and you can see them f flutter for a bit, and then I will, running start, jump into the air, and dash all the way 90 feet here. Okay. All right. And then, if I can, uh, using a bonus action, uh, I think this is within range. It's 30 feet. No, it's not. Never mind. I end my turn. <laughs> Alrighty. I don't like the fact that we're all going to set you set up for just one giant straight line of it. Uh, <laughs> Back. Okay. It is your turn. It is indeed my turn, and I have a lot of setup to do. All right. Um. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, I'm trying to do the math correctly. Uh, God damn it. Being a rogue <laughs> with all this bonus action stuff is so, co is so confusing. What do you um, want to do? Uh, basically, I'm double checking. Wait. Andy, I will tell you right now, you cannot actually get behind this creature as the behind it is through the portal. Oh no, I'm just checking how far things are. Okay. Uh. Basically. My movement action, my action, and my bonus action. Movement action, dash, ca use my one action to mage hand, and then use my um, cunning action to dash again. Can I do that? Okay, that so, you wanna, so you want to movement, you want to use your cunning action to dash, and then you want to use your action to mage hand? Yes. Okay, so yeah. 
What's your normal movement? 55. 55? I think it's still 55. I was given a movement boost at some point in this campaign. I don't remember where. We'll say yes. Okay. So that gives you 110 feet to move, uh, and then you get Mage Hand. Yes. Oh, uh, I'm gonna be gonna ask real quickly. Uh, did we, like, did I, would any of the spell slots have come back since our last fight, or is it, like, picking up directly after, so no? You guys chose not to take a long rest, so no. Alright then, cool. Just wanna make sure. Awesome. Um. So I can do that? Yeah, you can. You That's can legal? Alright, I'm gonna. Cool. Um, I'm gonna move right where my arrow is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and that God. ends my turn. Uh, basically, I'm playing the long game and I'm trying to get behind this fucking thing so I can get uh, sneak attack. <laughs> you can't get, the you can't, oh, you I can't, cannot get behind? You can't Never get mind. behind it because it is inside of a portal. The but back it, end of it is in another plane of existence. You automatically get sneak attack because I'm within five feet of it, though. Yep. Like, this thing has enemies within five feet of it, so you get sneak attack anyways. Cool, awesome. Anyway, I can't get to it on the on this turn, but I have my mage hand. That will help me later. It's a little yeah. tool that'll help me later. Anyway, I have my later. Ernest. I don't like the fact we all just setting up a straight line for this thing, don't you? Alphrax, <laughs> your pupil might be about to do something something stupid by engaging in this battle. <laughs> Uh, I'm if going it is to. Going to be stupid. Live to tell about it. Oh, I'm definitely planning on it. <laughs> I'm going to go over here, activate fiend mode on cold damage, and for flavor, Ernest is going to clap his hands, and as he is. Pulling them up, but as he is like, uh, like pulling up, uh, pulling apart, he is creating his pact weapon, <laughs> which I'm going to uh, kind of make it oh, a long sword. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, Ernest is creating a very icy looking. Longsword in tandem with his fiend, with his fiend mode with blue flames all over it, you know, for flavor. <laughs> Absolutely. And I do not think I can use my bonus action for anything at this, this distance, so. <laughs> that is going to be my turn. <laughs> It is now the aspect of Metis's turn. Let's see. <laughs> Which one of its five million instant kill abilities do you like? <laughs> Panic. Panic. Who shall we kill first? I need it. No, thank you. <laughs> Rock Cigar, Erlon, Beck, um, Andi, Maverick, I and Fraxen. I need all of you to make me a DC 22 con save as this creature rears back, its throat undulating and pulsing before it spews out a nope. line of tadpole infused. Yeah, brine. there it is. Oh no! Yeah, neither Fraxen or Mavic make it. Not this shit again. How does a 15 do? Oh, it no. was a DC 22. Oh. I got it. <clears throat> oh, well. This is gonna okay, be a lot of dice. Up. Um, <laughs> up. I'm doing, uh, Erlon is rolling, um, a yeah. 20 plus. Four is 16. 16. Yeah. Nope. Everybody except uh, for Broxigar is going to take 86 psychic damage. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, that's just gross. <laughs> Broxigar, <laughs> you take half. Wait. 86. Wait. Was this magical by any chance? This was psychic damage from a breath weapon. 
fuck, oh, I wow, can't use evasion on it. No, it's not it was a, a con save, save, not a deck save, unfortunately. And wow, I am okay. sorry to tell you guys, but Beck is down. What the fuck? Could you use Uncanny Dodge on that? I uh, could I? Hold up. An attacker, um, you can use your reaction to have the damage. All right, never mind. So <laughs> half of that damage would be forty-three. <laughs> Uh, that would ta- that would mean I would take like forty three damage if I use uncanny dodge. So like, uh, hmm. does this oh thing have God. like a woo- does this thing have like a rule where like if it goes beyond like negative ten, that thing's like immediately dead, like there's no saving it. If you take so let's say you had ten maximum HP, if you took twenty damage, you would instantly die. If you had a hundred HP, if you took two hundred, you would instantly die. Or if uh, you yeah. go beyond the negative of your max. Yeah. Yeah. So uh. Is... Mav- uh, Mavic had 64. You gave it 86. So he is down. Yeah, he's down. He's but not, not dead. dead. Mm-hmm. Okay, it, it thanks. It would have had to have been, what, 128 to instantly kill? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Thankfully, I stopped up on healing potions, and I'm just... I'm not having a good time. I'm very low right now. I would like to say I'm actually trembling from this shit. <laughs> This is why I was, just, I, I was afraid that you all just stand in a straight line for the thing. Precisely. It is your turn. I'm trying to get out of the way. 30. This is still within five feet, right? Because yes. it takes up the whole space? Okay. It takes up the whole square that it is in. So it is all the way up to this square. 40. Yeah. Uh, 45, 50, 55, 60. Okay, I'm just going to get out of... You know, breath weapon range uh, 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 with everybody, <laughs> and I am going to. Uh... <clears throat> Everything's fine. Everything's perfectly okay. Uh, I do this? Man, Cave really wasn't joking when, when they said TPK is a very real possibility. It is. I was it is not indeed. joking. No. Oh fuck! I forgot to change my AC. That's right. It's twenty. Well, Andy. Uh, yeah. We still have that option available. No, not yet. No. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. Yes, Ruth. Okay. Um. <laughs> I want to pit this against another. I will send you the stat block. I, in fact, after this session, I will be posting the stat block for this in the <laughs> Vault of Monsters. Don't subject any other party to this bullshit. No, do it. It'd be funny. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Why should we be the only ones that suffer this thing? God, I love Kay's evil laugh. 31. Absolutely, Proxy. Yeah. Next 20! Oh, Absolutely! Yes. After so many bad rolls this entire campaign! Thank you, Vanilla, for you soaking did. up Angel's bad luck earlier! 19. 19. <laughs> oh, that's let's, damage, yes, absolutely. Uh, let's make that a distracting attack. So the next person to make a weapon attack on this thing that is not oh. me uh, gets advantage. And I do an extra nine points of damage, so that's 27 for the first hit. For the second hit, uh, that's 16 plus 18, plus 2d10, because I'm doing another. uh, Let's reroll that one. So, 3 plus 8, so, what is that? And don't forget to maximize that 16. Uh, the 18th, the parts that ma- is maximized. Ah, okay. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so that's... What? 34 plus 8 is 42 points of damage for the second hit. Alrighty. Uh, <clears throat> wait, hold on. Yes. Yes, okay. Uh... And then I'm going to take my third attack. Nineteen, I don't think it's. Nineteen does not. Okay. Also, uh Okay. Uh 
I'm going to action surge and take three more attacks. Absolutely. Oh, not 20 again! Yo! Yes! Hell yeah! Yes! I've been doing oh, what in the fuck? The campaign just for this fucking moment! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Again, Vanilla, thank you! <laughs> oh, let's re-roll that one. Uh, Two, two, okay. So 14 plus 18, that's uh, 30. 32. Plus 2d10, because I'm adding another superiority die. Let's re-roll that one. Oh, Two again. Uh, so that's Two 38 points of damage. <laughs> 38 points of damage. So it was 42, 38, and 27. That's so a total far. of 107 so far. Uh, seven. Okay. Uh, I still have two more attacks. Let's go. Oh, Twenty-six. That hits. And twenty-two misses. Fuck. Okay. And do you have a hasted action as well? I do. Eighteen. Aww. Fuck. Unfortunately oh, well. not. Damn. Okay. So one more. Uh, let's reroll that two. So three. So fifteen <laughs> more points of damage. Uh, plus 15. That's a total of 122 points of damage this turn, Barso. Uh, Jesus and I'm going Christ. to Blood Drinker for <laughs> to recover 61 HP. Absolutely. Uh, uh, scary. Not even, not even like a quarter of the way done yet. I am now at a higher hit point total than I was when we started this fight. <laughs> uh, Kay, I have a question. Uh-huh. Uh, are those bushes I'm right next to? Uh, those are trees. Can I hide behind them? Absolutely. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Thank you. You can try to. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Anything else in your turn, Broxigar? Uh, nope, that's three out of my five superiority die. I, uh... That will be it for me. Andy. Cool. Do, 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 do. Um, I love being fast right now. All right. <laughs> right? Isn't it great? Oh my god. I also have a question. So if I'm here and Broxgar ends up here at some point, do we give each other advantage or is this just too big? It is too big. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. But, but yeah, that's what I was planning to do originally and then I found out that the back is in the portal. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm gonna make two attack. Oh. These are at advantage, right, Broxgar? Uh, I thought it was too big to no, you did no, the no. thing. You did the, the, uh, strike. the striking oh, strike. You, your, your first attack is at advantage, yes. Oh, then at 20. Do I get that 32? Abso-fucking-lutely you do. And then I also get a 26. 26 hits. Uh, excuse me, so how do I roll fucking big? Okay, uh, so click on it. Click on attack. The word attack in chat. Click on the word. Under each of your... There okay. you go. Um, and then for that first one, that 16 and that 13 get maximized, so... What so that's 24 plus 7, so 31 and 40. Because it's 5d8 radiant, so 40 and uh, 31, so 31, that's 71. Plus fifteen. Oh, plus seventeen. <laughs> plus sixteen. Plus twenty. Hold on, I have a calculator. You know so what? So that is sixty-four slashing damage and eighty-two radiant damage. <laughs> you swing once and twice, Andy, scoring deep wounds in this in the creature. Radiant fire begins to burn at its flesh, but it seems to not do as much as you'd hoped. Cool, 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 cool. Doing a total uh, with 105 damage. 
Huh? Nice. What the fuck? Day. Oh? Is that having things or what? What the fuck? God damn it! What health was that before? Shit. Uh, we'll see, yeah. We'll see. There we go. Okay. Yes, it resisted the radiant damage. It wasn't immune, but it resisted. Okay. Okay. Anything else in your turn? Um... I don't know if I have bonus actions, so... Nope. Probably not. All right. Um, but that... That is it. Erlon. Yup! Oh, uh, fuck. Is this... I'm going to assume that this... This motherfucker is undead, isn't it? No. No. It's no. not? It is not nice. undead. Alrighty! <laughs> What's back on the menu, boys? <laughs> <laughs> Multi attack with the Blythe Drinker Greatsword all three times. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Am I doing this oh. correctly? Look at my baby oh. go! Uh, your uh. first one hits. Awesome. I don't care. <laughs> 15 slashing and 14 necrotic. Nice. That means I also skill 14. <laughs> Um, I don't have any bonus action. Oh, wait. I am also going to take my move action, or Yurlon's move action, and switch. Uh, oh, you can't go along the curve like that. Okay. He I takes got... up the entire box that he's in, so oh, this is his corner down here. Ah, I will scooch over here. I have enough room for that. And don't yeah, forget I, I that as a vampire, he regenerates. Ah, uh, that is also true. Uh, where is that? Oh, there it is. Awesome, thank you. And so he just starts regenerating. <laughs> and that's where I end my turn. Correct, sir. Would it be anything to try and pick up Mavic and move? Would, that, would picking up Mavic be an action? Or would you simply just do it? Like, just to get them, just to get them both out of the way? I got up an immediate line of fire. So would it be an action? him yourself would be an action. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, I will pick him up and I will take both of us and move both of us over here. And would it be... Could I use a bonus action to use a potion? It is an action to use a potion. Ah. Uh, however, because Mavic currently down, could I use Mavic turn to use a potion? <laughs> that would be his action somehow. Yeah, fair. You tried. Do I have to make a death save for Mavic then? Yep. Oh boy, fun. Where are you? I find with it. I'll make a con save for him. Alright. Oh, he makes it. That's yep. good. He makes it. Augustus. I think you're technically right. You're Sorry, in, uh, I was uh, muted. You're in the, you're in the creature. I think uh, uh, there. Yep. Yeah, there we go. All right. So still in the air with the boots, and then I'm going to take three, uh, two attacks with the lightning dragon spear. That misses. That oh. very misses. And as a bonus action, because I pull our master, uh, I assume that also misses. That also misses, yes. Alright, that is my turn. Jesus. Oh my god. Three whole whiffs. Damn. Oh yeah. Back. God damn. Hell, hell yeah. 
Um, double decking, how far this is. I am more than enough room. I'm gonna boogie on over here. Bonus action, Shadow Blade. Um, and attack. Do I have sneak attack? Yes. Yes. In, okay, okay, awesome. Because you've got allies that are within five feet of him. <sighs> I could have done it. <laughs> Damn hot. So, uh, we have here. Oh, I only oh, report to him. No, it does not. Dead. Um. And because. No, I already used my bonus action. Um. Yeah, there's nothing, uh, nothing else I can do, so I end my turn here. I need to. Oh, yeah. do, I need to attack more. <laughs> okay. I do have a question. I can't do it because my turn already passed, but. It, it was like a bonus action to use nature fail, and I just wanted to know if I was holding on to Mavic, would he, wouldn't he have like turned invisible with me if I used nature fail? No. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Okay, I can't do it anyway because my turn's already passed. Oh well. Uh, I like how in, a, in an attempt to not be in fireball formation, we maintained at least a, a bit of a lesser fireball formation just to <laughs> Half cir- semi-circle. Just separated. Yeah. I mean, there's a pretty clean, like, it. I, I'm pretty sure the breadth is wide enough to hit Beck, Erlon, Maverick, and Praxis. That's like easy for. Actually, hold on. The angle might be a bit off there. Back in Erlon, Erlon for sure. Maybe not right. that, but we can What's going on? Whose turn is it? Uh, it is Ernest's turn. Sorry, I'm, I'm doing something. No worries, no worries. Uh, okay, I, I have a question. Mm-hmm. I cannot use a bonus action to dash, right? You cannot, no. Okay. Okay, so just... Uh, move... Here. Uh, don't worry about what you're about to say. Go! Don't worry about it. Huh? <laughs> oh, you're changing it to a square! Just don't worry about it. That, that actually oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, that does help. Oh, that, 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 that helps a lot, yeah. But also, yeah. we need get to see more of its wonderful tentacles. Uh, I hate it. <laughs> undulating oh, tentacles. Gosh. Stop mm. it with the undulating! Undulating tentacles. No! <laughs> undulating. I don't like the undulating! <laughs> Good, thank you. Um... And I'm going to use my seventh Arcanum and conjure my crown of stars. Oh shit! Oh, Ernest man. kind of flicks his hair, and like seven motes of star of like seven small luminous motes start orbiting around his crown, the beholder crown, <laughs> which I didn't. I believe you could shoot one off as. So yeah, I can. I'm. Um, oh wait, can I check the distance? Am I? Am I in range? I am in range. Yep, I'm yep. going to shoot one off with the bonus action. <laughs> right here. Absolutely. Get fucked. Make a range spell attack. Uh, range spell attack. Ah shit. Um, I don't have it in my uh, in my attacks. Do I just roll a? It's. It's adding your charisma plus your proficiency, so it should be your charis- whatever your charisma is plus five, and then d twenty. Yeah. Okay, so d twenty plus eight. Okay. Okay. No, not nine. Not ninety-eight. No. <laughs> I don't have that much. Oh fuck. <laughs> An eleven does not hit. Shit. Your star fires off and plinks against the uh, the flesh of this creature. 
Oh, that's hmm. that doesn't load well. Is not anything else in your turn, list? Not for the moment. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Who all got hit by the uh, by the breath? Eh, there it is. Oh, no. And there's the worms! Oh, <laughs> Jazz hands! Who all got hit by the breath weapon? Mm. Well, me and Matt. Well, we now know who's going down first. It'd be me and Matt. Everyone did! Uh, everybody I who did, did, mark your token with a pink circle. Don't mm. like this, Pei! <laughs> Since I forgot about it, it won't happen until your next turns, but you're gonna start taking damage from the uh, illithid worms that are inside of your brains. Yeah, so, so like the first hit I get from the other one, I'm down. So like, drawing. <clears throat> no, We're first gonna roll to see if it gets its uh, its breath weapon back. It doesn't. Thank God. Thank God. <laughs> so it's gonna use its other breath weapon. Not the fire. Oh what? God, the fire. What do you mean? What? Let's see who's Good. done the most damage to it. <laughs> Rock cigar. I need Brooks you. Right, yeah. To make me a DC 20, uh, let's see, what is, where is it? If it's fire, it's probably dex. I need you to make me a DC 22 dex save. I have to roll a 19 or a 20. And the only reason I can make this at all is because, nope, mm. uh, you know what? I'm gonna indomitable that, so I'm gonna reroll it. Alright. Never mind, um, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you're going to take 87 radiant damage. How you as, doing, uh, As the creature rears up and breathes out a golden, sparkly flame upon you. Andy. Hi. You recognize that that is, in fact, Met Metis's breath weapon. You know it on sight. I don't... I don't like this. I don't like this fight. I don't like the emotions. I don't appreciate hell. Bruxigar. Huh? Uh, and Bruxigar, in fact, um, because you got hit with the breath weapon, uh, the first breath weapon, right? I saved. I, I I did save. Oh, you I, did I, save out of it. I passed my okay. save. I did get hit, but I passed my save. Yeah. Um, whether you succeed or fail, you're still infested. However, because you healed, you are fine. Oh yeah, I healed sixty-one. So. Yep. <clears throat> so it is now Wait, your so turn. Rockstar just like flexed, flexed his massive muscles in his brain and just <laughs> it out. Uh, Wait, if we heal, this then is you the don't power have of the smooth brain. <laughs> if you You're... heal, I will give you this. If you heal 40 hit points, um, let's see. If you heal, uh, yeah, if you heal 40, 40 hit points or more, the tadpoles that are infesting you are killed. I will say, like, as Can you I guys are. Even, please, then? As you guys are watching Broxgar slash into this thing, you see like the blood splashing off of it is absorbed into <laughs> uh, Black Razor and it's healing Broxigar's wounds. God damn. Broxigar, buddy, you... So I think we should start a talk about healthy boundaries with our <laughs> Uh Broxigar is fully not listening to you one bit. Uh... <laughs> It is How to have a healthy relationship with your weapon. One of the is taking an attack. 28. Healthy relationship. Yep. Healthy relationships uh, in here. 14 plus a d10. Two. Let's reroll that. Uh, five. So 19 points of damage. And the next weapon attack that's not mine against him has uh, advantage. I will take another attack. 18. Misses. Unfortunately, will not hit. And I will give up my third attack to give Beck an attack with my commander strike. So, Beck, what? you have an attack with advantage on this thing, and you had a D10, uh, D10 damage die to your damage roll. Fuck yeah, I love you! <laughs> 19 damage for Brock Cigar, and Beck, make your attack at advantage. Oh, fuck yeah! 
Uh, hold Thank up. you for the self care, Ruse. Everyone, make sure you drink the water. Add, add advantage. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, a 16 does not hit. Oh, I'm sorry! Oh, man! <laughs> sorry! Oh, yeah, we don't, oh, yeah because, because of the giant block, we don't have the help bar. No, nope, the help bar. Oh, wait, I forgot to reshow the help bar. My bad. I will uh, use my bonus action the second win uh, in heal 19. Alrighty. There's your health. Hey, button. that puts me at 69. <laughs> nice. Andy, it is your turn. Hi. Okay, well. <laughs> okay. Um, hold on, wait. Okay. Hold, on. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this would make a difference, but also, Coda, why do you only have a plus 8 to hit on a plus 2 right here? I forgot to update it. Oh my god. Okay, no, no. Stop. That's, Hold that's the fucking press. Months. That's months of not updating it. I don't well, know why it's is... not updated. I've been trying to update it. I did update it's it. Security. I did update it. I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, What's your because dexterity you, modifier? Because you didn't put the actually put the plus two to the attack roll. It says right here plus two though. Yes, but you see right there where it says attack oh, strike and then I just put in a plus two. <laughs> oh, fuck me. <laughs> so can we have Beck re-roll those? Also, why are you using strength instead of dex? That is a very good question. I don't know. Uh. Beck. I could have sworn uh. it was dex already. Yeah, what that is fuck? a plus 11 weapon right now. What the fuck? I thought I updated it. I will we... allow you to re-roll once. Okay, that's fair. Nope. <laughs> no, bad. It's Holy bad. shit. I apparently oh, have taken on Rock Cigars and Angel's bad rolls. God damn it. <laughs> All right. Hey, it's also not my. That would usually hit, but we're fighting a boss right now, so. Yeah. It is now oh, Andy's turn. Don't give me that. Don't give me that, Chad. Okay. Oh, Andy. Um. You are going to take. What? Fuck. Twenty-three uh -oh. psychic damage, as the worms <laughs> in your brain are slowly eating. I really don't like. I really don't oh, no. like bugs. See, it was at 140. Oh, fuck. So what's 14 minus 23? Sorry, because internet died. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Sorry, back. Oh, he's back. He's back. I can take uh, not much more of those. Um. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. Um, so Andy's gonna rear up. And create a wall oh, no. whirling. Oh, hi. What happened? I feel like I'm missing something. Circa keeps cutting in now. Their internet's having a day. Oh, that's uh, fine. Am I back? Hello. Yep. Yes. You're back. Okay, thank God. Uh, up to 100 feet. I long. do not want to have another repeat of past sessions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Which is fair, beloved. And 20 feet high. <sighs> So once again, this it's just gonna go straight down the fucking middle. Absolutely. Oh, shit. You know where you want it to be? Um, hold on. Come on. It won't let me move it. I want to move it. Uh, Drag up. your cursor so you select like the entire. Thing. I did. It's not like. For whatever fucking thing to see when it comes to like draw the drawing tool. Where yeah, no, it's. Where do you want it at? Uh, over more to the left. Uh, a little left. And that's fine. You know what? It's fine. I don't care. Uh, I guess it's not really important. Um,. And, uh, yeah, so that's fun. I like this. This is fun. Um, and 
It provides three quarters cover to creatures behind- Actually, no. Okay, there was a reason. Uh, to creatures behind it. It will not give this thing three quarters cover. No, but would it give everyone else three quarters cover? Like, if I moved it to the edge... It would, but any melee users would not be able to hit it. Okay, without uh, taking the damage. Okay. Then never mind. Uh, then it's just gonna stay there. Um... So... Um... When a creature enters the wall's area for the first time, or starts its turn there, it's going to make a dexterity saving throw and take 60, 10 slashing damage or half as much on a six. So that- your spell save as this thing? 18. That's gonna use a legendary resistance and choose to succeed. Uh, it's Whoa. fine, I guess. Excuse me, what the- Wait, actually, hold on. What is my actual spell save DC right now? Okay. Because I just realized... DC 20 for a planner. Planetar. Okay. It's uh, still going to choose to succeed, though. Why isn't it letting me roll damage? Because it's outputting it as a spell card. Just roll 6 to 10. Okay. Uh, it's... Exclamation point R. 6 D 10, right? It's either that or a slash, I can't remember. It didn't do it. So, slash R, 16, 10, 43. Alright, so it's uh, gonna take half damage. 221. Yep. Okay, and that just stays. Absolutely. Uh, cool. That's it. Alrighty, our wand is going to take 10 psychic damage. Okay. That's not so bad. Alrighty. Um. Huh? Yes. Uh, he's gonna flurry, flurry with the life drinker great sword once more. A twenty-two just barely misses. The twenty-seven absolutely hits. Unfortunately, the fourteen does not. That is one hit. Twenty-four necrotic. 17 slash and 24 necrotic damage, which also means I also heal for 24. Uh, now you do only deal half damage for that. No, wait, I don't heal this time. My bad, I don't heal this time. Uh, regeneration, it wants to use regeneration on a turn, it doesn't work, uh, it doesn't function as a start of the next turn, so next turn I heal. Regardless, I'm fine. What? Um, that's everything for number one. Wait, what are you talking about? Uh, Erlan's regeneration uh, only works like once you use regeneration on your turn, it is not in effect on your next turn. Where does it say that? At the very bottom of regeneration. The trait doesn't function for the start of the vampire's first turn. No, if the vampire takes radiant damage or damage from holy water, this trait doesn't function at the start of the vampire's next turn. That period. The whole thing. Oh, that's that's a comma, not a period. Fuck me. Yes, and besides, <laughs> the regeneration and the, what you heal with the sword are two different forms of healing. Yeah. So you do regain twelve necrotic from the sword since it's halved, uh, and then you do gain regain the health from regeneration, killing the worms. Awesome. Um, is this regaining hit points equal to the necrotic damage taken? Right, and it only took half the, half the damage. It's um, got resistance to necrotic damage, so... Oh, yeah. I'm being very silly. You're good, buddy. Very, very silly. But other than that, and the worm being dead, uh, that is the end of our boss. Alrighty. Frexen! You are going to take... 16 psychic damage. Mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, he had six. He had six HP. That's not good. Yeah, no. Rexon is down. Fuck. Hold on. God damn it! I accidentally made the stupid. I will remind you that there is a thing that you could be doing. 
that I gave you earlier today. Oh, hold on. One minute. And what is it? Hold on. I opened up the sheet again. Well, one more thing you gave me with for Maverick, mostly. Look at the other sheet that you have access to. And at the bottom of the, the feature that I gave you. Now, you are unconscious, so you can't do that now. Yeah. But that like, is something that you could have been doing. But, like, even if I did the thing... He wouldn't have enough movement to get up there. No, but there is a hit point change, AC change, and ability change. That is fair. Also, look at the resistances. Oh, yeah. I probably should have done that right off the bat. Oh, doesn't matter now. Make it that safe for uh, Maverick. Alright, it's just con, right? Yep. He's Second still holding. Success. Gustus. Set. All right. Uh, Beck is. Uh, what so was that? You're. We can't hear you, mate. Oh no. Ah. I heard what I thought was Beck, and then I was waiting for a response. Yeah, I think, I think he's trying to go down to, like, heal you or something. I would actually very much require healing. I mean, I have a greater restoration potion. Well, not greater restoration. I have greater healing potion on me, but it's probably not going to kill the worms in my head. Also, unless you guys, like, parsed them out before session started, Braxton had, like, all the heal potions. <laughs> Yeah, I gave two to Ernest, but no yeah, one ever I got two of them. No, no one ever, no one ever said like, "Hey, I want some." I didn't realize I was gonna use my room. Welcome back. Uh, okay, can you hear me now? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Okay, I was gonna say Beck is not looking so hot. I'm not. <laughs> All right. A shame I can't actually reach you this turn without Dasher. Do I have a spell for that? <laughs> <laughs> Does the spell have any range? Uh all I got is cure wounds, which is touch. Okay. Yeah, okay. fuck. So which is touch. Which yeah. is touch, yeah. Uh Alright, I'm just gonna make my way closer. Okay, look at my way. I look up to here. Uh I could ready in action. Uh, lower myself down and give you 40 lay on hands if you enter my space or get next to me. Uh, I can do that in my turn. I can just scooch on over. Alright, I will ready in action for 40 lay on hands. Alrighty. If Beck approaches me. <laughs> Beck. You take Alrighty. 20 psychic damage. Ow, Fall ow. towards him. Fall towards him. Fall towards me! <laughs> Follow the soothing sound of my oh voice! My God. <laughs> and, okay, I'm here, and then I'm also gonna attack the uh, big fuck you dragon with my rapier. Absolutely, and you regain 40 hit points, and the worms inside of you are killed. Oh, thank God. <sighs> 26! Absolutely. Fucking oh, finally! Teamwork. Get his ass. Get attacked. Oh. Let me see oh. if I can re-roll any of the damage die. You it got won't... two ones in your sneak attack. Uh, you can re-roll once? I I can with piercer. Ah. I do consider sneak attack to be the same damage type as your weapon, so yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna re-roll into my six. There we go. <laughs> So that's 23 uh, sneak attack damage. 
We're through 14. 28. 48. That's, that's, 50, that's 51 damage. Wait, hold I think on. I, did that, I think I did that math correctly. 14, 14, 14 20. 23. Wait, why are why are you at what what's the two fourteens? You attacked with the rapier, not a not a shadow weapon. Uh Coda use Shadow Blade. Or cast Shadow Blade. Yeah. I actually uh, I'm gonna be honest, I think Shadow Blade is its own thing. I don't think it stacks with rapier weapon. Yeah, Shadow Blade is its own attack. <laughs> yeah. Up you, can use, in power you can use you can use snake attack with shadow blade because it's a finesse weapon, but it creates yeah. its own blade. It doesn't modify your existing weapon. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's, it. that's weird. Nope, it no. makes its own weapon that deals two d eight psychic damage. <laughs> okay. So were you attacking with your rapier? Yeah. Okay, so that is fourteen plus twenty three, which is thirty seven. Seven. Yeah. And I get like how much did I heal for? Uh forty. 40? Okay. My brain is not wanting to do math today. Get a calculator. Um Or your phone. What do you mean, babe? Anything else in your turn back? No. I forgot to use my mage hand, but that's for later. Alrighty. Ernest. If I dash up to Praxin, I'm not going to be able to use the Supreme Hailing Potion, am I? No. Not on your turn. Fuck. Uh, 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 uh. I need to look at something. You do have, um... That's still 30 feet. Black. Because I don't really want to leave Prax in there bleeding on the realm, you know? <laughs> Not really bleeding, I just have worms in my brain. Yeah, getting numbed on, but you know. Nom <laughs> nom. Also, Emma, I think you forgot to take off your pink icon for the blue No, one. I didn't heal. Oh. I you did. I bet. There's also Dimension Door that I could use, but that's an action as well, and I don't think I can Dimension Door and then Potion up. Probably not. Oh, I should have... I should have kept Misty Step. <laughs> oh, I got rid of that so long ago. Oh... That's an action, that's an action. Uh -huh. The liquid has to be drank, right? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Damn it, I can't just throw the potion no. on Prax no, and how just... No, that's how it works. It has to well, be ingested. It's a beauty mask! <laughs> nope, it has to be drank. <laughs> ah, shit. Can you get me? A potion, per chance, like just hand me one. I could hold an action for you to grab a potion. Yep, you could also Post. teleport over there and hold an action to give it to her. You can teleport. I can. There's a, I have a dimension door spell. Uh, there is also dimension door, but then there's that other thing that I gave you. I oh. know, but <laughs> I don't really want to bust it right now. <laughs> No time like the present. Just go all out. The, yeah, there, like, there's no reason to be holding anything back right now. Yeah, I held back. I kind of held back and look where I am now. There is a reason for me because I still have some spells that I could use. I mean, so did I, but... Yeah, so... Go all out just this once. <laughs> yeah. Are you tired of being nice? Would you like to go ape shit? The answer is yes. Fuck it. In the name of the Morasha. <laughs> you see Ernest burst into flames. Oh. 
and from those flames, a massive devil is standing. Now that's a fucking warrior. Yeah! This is what I told you. you. Clad in hellish plate mail and wielding a massive morning star. Uh, We're all getting glow ups today. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna teleport and hold an action to. Actually, I couldn't hold an action to give a potion to uh, Praxin on this turn. Could I? No, he's in guns. No. Okay. I. 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 As a solar, are you not able to, or planetary? Are you it's not either to... heal or fight, and yeah. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna teleport. Hello. Hi. Nice to see you. Can we just very quickly high five? Ernest <laughs> <laughs> has the potion in hand. He, he is not going. <laughs> You have two hands! <laughs> For the first time in centuries, a celestial and a, uh, and a An infernal stand side by side on a battlefield. And fucking high five. Oh my god, it's Crowley and Aziraphale! <gasps> <laughs> nice. Wait, oh my fucking just, god, it is. Instead of a high five, Ernest, we just, like, hold our blades and just kind of, like, clink. Man. I will allow a clink. Andy is now in honor of fucking up this abomination. Andy is canonically left-handed, and if Ernest is right-handed, that works out great. You are not talking to <laughs> Ernest. The right fucking now. monster is just like a, you hold it up, and it's just like a. Beep. You are not talking to Ernest right now. <laughs> no, I mean I think so. Andy. Hi. R. The awesome. creature turns towards you. No, thank you. My name I'm is okay. R. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's R. R? Okay. R? Yeah, R. The creature turns towards you. I am, I'm, I'm good. It is going to make one bite attack against... Uh, it's going to make a bite attack against Or. And a claw mm -hmm. attack against either, against both of you. Uh, no thanks. It's a 34 to hit. Like. That does hit. And this one's against you. This one's against I. Fuck off. Both of them hit. Got a plus 19 to hit. Can I get that? <laughs> oh my. Become no. The, you become the avatar of a god. Hey, is this going to be slashing per chance? Uh, the claw attack is going to be slashing. Um, okay. Or you are going to take 19 piercing, 16 force, 27 slashing, and uh, Andy, you're going to take 23 slashing, and you are grappled as it slams its paw, its uh, paw down upon you. Why is it? 35. Or grappled as well. Uh, it can only affect one at a time, and it chooses you. <laughs> oh boy. Also, we're gonna roll um, to see if it gets its two breath weapons back. Hold on, hold on. It uh, gets the I tadpole have... back. Uh, I have it gets the what? The tadpoles? Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> I have resistance to both slashing and piercing. So this is just slashing, right? Yep, you okay, take I have 100 and... to 11 slashing. Or okay. you take. I'm at 80. We're doing great, guys. I'm from 200 down to 80. 58 total damage. And Broxigar, it is now your turn. Oh boy. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I'm going to bonus action hex this thing. Uh because I should have done that before we started battling. Uh, and then I'm going to take three attacks. Okay. 
27. Yep. 17. Yeah. 32. Fuck yeah. Hits. Okay. Isn't that a 19? Yeah, I don't crit on a 19, though, unfortunately. Uh, Damn. So 17 plus 4, so 21 points of damage. And then let's reroll that one. Two, three, so that's 14 plus hex is 16. So 21 plus 16, 37 points of damage. Uh, and then I'm going to Blood Drinker. Uh, to what would that be? 18? 18 hit points. Yep. Back. Okay. Oh yeah, wait, I've got a hasted action. Yeah, you do. No! Oh, 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 yeah! What the fuck? I was Christ. about to be fucking done, and I was like, oh wait, yeah, I'm fucking hasted. What, what am I doing? <laughs> this is Broxigar's world, and we're all just living in it. I think we I've are. rolled as many crits in this one session as I have so far this fucking campaign. No, I yep. think you've rolled more. I think you've rolled more in this session. Because I don't think I've ever seen you get a nat 20. I, I think I've gotten it like three times. They're like few and far in between. Okay, and then two oh. for Hexel 3, okay. Uh... Uh, 40 points of damage on that last hit. Uh, would that add to the blood drinker? Or? Yes, uh, that's uh, another okay. 20 to your blood drinker. I'll allow it. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I'm back in triple digits, baby. Oh, oh hey, yeah. wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, really quickly, you forgot to roll the deck save for the, uh, the thingy, Kay. Ah, he did. That's right, for the... What? Uh, it makes it save. So, uh, roll damage. Okay. It's half damage. I Come on, guys. We have a third. We only have a third of the health left. That's a total of eleven uh, magical slashing yeah, damage. Yeah, for now. And uh, I also need to make a con save to keep concentrating. Got it. It's a final work. You don't mean you don't expect like another oh, phase that's somewhere. Right. You are concentrating on a spell, aren't you? Mm-hmm. That's what I'm trying to do right now. Uh, the thing from Ernst. Ernest. Kay says mischievously. God damn it. Never mind. Oh, so you lose your oh. concentration? Wait, Hold no. On, wait, I only wait, took no. 11 points of damage. Yeah, yeah so you're so... fine. Unfortunate. Uh, it's going to take a legendary action. Please no. And it's going to shatter your concentration on the spell. <laughs> dealing 30 psychic damage. How did you roll so well for that? I have no idea. Jesus what Christ. in the Lord? Uh, I need that heal. I need heal. Fuck me. Um, hold on. I need to... Is that magical? It is magical psychic damage. It is your turn now, too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, that it is. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Do, yeah, no, that's... Or is holding out a superior hero potion. Uh, that's, let's see. Please save him. 30, and then how much do I take from the fucking worms? Oh, that's right. Thank you for reminding me. Um, I don't like this. That is <laughs> 3d10. That's the 19. Okay, so I was at 80. And now I am at... 31. Oh, hey! This is my- This is my favorite creature I've ever made. <laughs> is this my turn? Okay. It is. You know what? This healing touch I have, is that gonna get rid of the things in my brain? Not immediately, because it only does- Well, theoretically it could. Because you can take the base 30 that it has there, or you can try rolling the dice for higher. Well, no, but it also says any curse, disease, poison, blindness, or deafness. Yeah, would that count? I'd say worms are a disease. <laughs> I would say that. You yeah. know what? I'll allow it. Correct. Parasitic infestation yeah! is a disease. You so I'm gonna get thirty back. And you are no longer infested with worms. 
I'm no longer infested with worms. And then I'm gonna take that healing potion and I'm going to, uh, can I bonus action use it? Cause I didn't have to pull it out. I just grabbed it. It is an action to use a healing potion. Fuck. Okay. Because there is a very specific ability for one specific rogue subclass that tells you that you can do it as a bonus action. Things kind of dumb, yeah. but. Cause I thought you know, I remembered earlier we could just equip time. I thought in this, it might have been a different campaign of yours, but I thought we could just equip it and use it. That was a thing in the Curse of Strahd campaign. Okay. Where I allowed you guys to have a potion equipped for bonus action use during a, uh, during a uh, battle. Well, I'll, some of this stuff starts to run together, so. That is a thing that I did like doing, though, so I might bring it back in the future. Okay. Please. Um... But I think that's all I can do because healing touch is an action, right? Is it an action to try and break out of the grapple? Uh, or is that just like a free thing? Can I just try? It is grapple to escape DC 20, so technically it is an action. Can I try it anyway? <laughs> well, hold on. Uh, because typically, if it is an action, it will specify if it's an action. So if it's not specified as being an action, I, I'm not sure if it is. Fuck it. I, I'll let you try. Uh, make me an athletic God. or an athletics check DC twenty. Oh, my God. Planetar strength is. Oh! There you go. Seven. You are no longer restrained. Okay. Uh, and then I'm gonna use uh some movement here. Um, and I'm just, cause I really don't want to be in line with this stupid thing. You're going to be in line for a stupid sh for a shot anyway. No, cause go. I don't want all of us to be in line. And so, hold on. Is it possible to fly over this thing? Broad cigar over there. No, I mean like. Fly <laughs> over this thing. Yeah. No, 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 no. I, I get what you just mean. Yes. I'm just saying, like, everybody else is kind of close to Broxy Guards way the fuck out there. Yes, you can. Okay. Because then I'm just going to sit pretty above this thing over here. Andy, uh, you get close to the portal. And you oh, can God. feel psychic communications from thousands of creatures all with extremely alien minds. You feel like if you stay near this portal too long, you might begin to lose your mind. Okay. Uh, consider, can I hear what they're saying? Do you speak in D-speak? Do you know D-speech? Um, I mean, uh, I know everything, planetar, so yeah. A planetar yeah, that's that's right. all language. You hear the thoughts of thousands of people going about their daily lives, but it's all alien and confusing. The concepts that they have, the way that they think, it is all... It, it doesn't make sense, and your brain is scrambling to try to understand. Okay, I still have some movement here. Hold on one fucking minute. All right. <laughs> Gonna fly up over here. <laughs> uh, hopefully out of, like, I don't know. I guess I'm still close enough to hit it, so probably not out of range for, like, getting hit with the cone, but, you know. Hopefully away enough that it's like, you don't notice me. Ready? And make sure you remove that pink dot for the bonus. Oh, thank you. Right, my bad. I forgot I was still playing. Uh, another flurry of blows with uh, the life drinker. Because that's the main damage that he does. Now right, what? One. Oh. Uh, one hit. 26. The 26. 18 slashing and 29 necrotic. 
14. That's 32 total. Killing run. Um, also, I think what, uh, what else I'm also going to do is I'm also going to have Erlon make his way over here. Move his positioning over here. Oh, and right. then I'll end this turn. Braxton, make me a death save. Yep. Alright. Come on, buddy, Seven. don't die on us. And here's a one for Maverick. Man, 17 is a common roll today. And that's three for Maverick. That makes three death save for Maverick, so I guess he's stabilized, what did it say? He is stabilized. Alright, cool. So now it's... Right. Mm hmm You... You see something as you are unconscious. A familiar, smug elf bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this smug elf bastard? I've probably seen many of this, but who? Seclaris. Ah, uh, uh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Can I help you? Or, or are you gonna tell me I'm trying to pass on? I'm kinda busy. Get the, <laughs> get the fuck up. And he disappears, and you will, you and uh, Maverick are up at 1 HP. Ah. Uh, huh. I see how long that lasts for. You guessed this. Uh, right. Apologies. Uh, the health bar is kind of hard to see in the boss. I have to zoom out for you guys to be able to see everything. Um, <laughs> but this is its health bar right now. Okay. Let's see. Who is in the most dire of straits? Praxin? I think it's Praxin. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. For, sure, for sure Praxin. But I can't. I can't make that even with a dash. You know. And you'd incur an opportunity attack, wouldn't you? I would. I would occur that. Yeah. Uh, they're fine. I can't heal you because uh, you're a vampire. You're, do you're doing damage to it. Just keep wailing on it. Yeah, we're just gonna keep wailing on it. Damage is mitigation yeah, for future get attacks. Damage. You gotta it get as much damage off for what I assume it's gonna be a second phase because there's no way the thing. Yeah. Just All face. right. We're gonna make three attacks. What makes you say what? that? Because of the final boss. Because it's you, Kay. Because of the final boss. I know how final boss is going. And 22. You have one hit. One hit? Okay, I'm going to make that a, div a divine smite. Epic. Smite as hard so, as you fucking can. So Epic. that will. And since it's not. Uh, it is not undead, that is just 5d8 radiant damage. Oh my god. So, 9 piercing, yeah. it ignores lightning, and uh, 14 radiant because it resists. A good so hit. 23. Yeah. Actually, wait, question. Like, since the clock's but like, since it said, get the fuck up, are the worms still in there? No. Okay, cool. Thank God. Wait, right. make uh, but before I end my turn, I am gonna make my way 45 feet over there to attempt uh, uh, to administer healing next turn. It is going to make an attack of opportunity against you. I know. Okay. I haven't been hit yet. As a but that will. That will hit. So you're going to take 22 slashing and unfortunately you are restrained back here as it whoomp, smacks oh. you down with its claws. And you, you think you're getting away? Nah, bitch. Nice. Yeah, it would barely missing me, damn. Beck, this this uh its foot comes down and it is big it, way bigger than you and Augustus combined. You were like in between <gasps> two of the toes. Oh, I hate that. That's also the noise I made. Alright, uh cool. Usually not Augustus. Uh Beck's tail is the, all the fur and Beck's tail is standing up on end. As like this foot like stops, like maybe a couple oh, yeah, inches away from them. Beck. And it's my turn. Oh, we'll yep. fucking wail on this thing. Wail on the foot. <laughs> but first, <laughs> cut his toes. <laughs> versatile trickster, mage hand to do it uh, to distract. Okay. <laughs> Yep, I get advantage! Fuck you! Get his ass, get his ass. 
absolutely. 29. 29 definitely hits. Awesome. Also gets uh, oh. Gun. Ooh, that mm. was a good roll. Yeah, buddy. And then also shadow blade. Wait, wait, wait. Shadow blade not out here. Shadow blade is a, a separate thing. Oh really? Yeah. Yes. yes. You yeah. just did this. The, the know, shadow blade I'm spell. Stupid summons a, a psionic sword that you can use instead of a weapon. You and should. so you would still have to make a melee spell attack with it, and then you would deal that 2d8 psychic damage. And you uh, can use your sneak attack, but it does not augment your rapier. Never mind, ignore the 11 then. <laughs> uh, I do believe you could re-roll one of the ones rolled in the sneak attack though, right? I can also do that. Yeah, you rolled a single one, so... Yes. Extra five damage. Nice, very yes. nice. And uh, for those of you that are having trouble seeing, the health bar is almost almost reached Proxigar. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, yep, yeah, and that ends my turn. Alrighty. Or. Okay, I have three questions. Yes. First of all. Crown of Stars, did it stay when I transformed? Yes. Okay, because like I was worried because it wasn't a concentration spell. And I... It's still there. Uh, second question. Can I use? Can I still use my features, or did I switch entirely? Like what? Like my martial adept features, like frantic attack and data switch. Yes, you can still use those. Okay. And the third question, does Thirsting Blade add up to multi-attack? What do you mean? Does... Because it, it's if I take the attack action. But does it count with multi-attack? No. Okay. Okay, then yeah, I'm just gonna... Uh, I'm going to use a multi-attack, and then for the first attack, make it a fainting attack. Make it a fainting attack, aka I'm going. I'm going to use my only superiority die. Oh yeah, that's a bonus action. Then you get your yeah. 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 Um. So I have advantage on the first attack. Yep. Wait, shit. No, uh, I. Roll again. I'm just gonna roll this one at advantage. Because <laughs> I didn't fucking roll this one. 27 hey. absolutely hits. Nice! Uh. Do I just Double click on the name? Yep. Okay, I click on the name. Uh, and also, since my invocations are still here, uh, this still, this still takes effect, so it's going to take plus 3 necrotic damage on top of that. Uh, so also, it's 15 piercing and 20 necrotics. You add whatever your superiority die is to the damage too with fainting attack. Yep. Oh right. Um, what's this? <laughs> what's what? I, I I don't know. Uh, it's a d6. It's a d6. Okay. That's a three. You ready? Go for your second attack. Uh, oh, does it does the 19 hit? No. But then uh, the you rolled the 19, then you rolled again and got 27. That was your first oh, attack. Okay. Roll oh, again okay. Okay. Yeah. 31 definitely hits. Wait, wait, with that? Oh. It doesn't oh. matter because the 31 is the first number, so that's what gets taken. Okay, cool. And that's 15 piercing and 10 necrotics with the 3 from the. Three from the Elector campaign. <laughs> Absolutely. So that's a total of 30 piercing and 33 necrotic. <laughs> Unfortunately, the necrotic gets halved, but still good hits. Hell yeah, and since I already used my bonus action, I can't really just send another star mode, so I'm good with this turn, I think. <laughs> Oh, no. It does not. Thank God. <clears throat> uh, it is 
let's see. Seems low. I Seems need... Erlan and R to make me... On oh. Oh! Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. Oh, oh wait, no, I'm still in advantage, sorry. <laughs> A 10 fails. Um... Uh, Hunt save? Yep. Okay. Uh... Do, do, do. You still got one potion on you, you're good. Uh, plus four, Ooh. that's 10. You both take 63 psychic damage and are reinfested with Mind Flayer tadpoles. Uh, as oh, you are drenched in the brine, you can feel the tadpoles wriggling and crawling behind your eyes. Through your uh, no, no, oh. ew. Ew, oh, no. You, oh, you still have like that one one of the two queen potions, right? Yeah, I do, but this is not a sensation I wish to see again. To feel fucking like that's all right. Rock cigar. Yep. It's your turn. Uh, I... Roxigar will... Uh, I imagine, because he's on the other side of the battlefield, Andi, you're the only one who sees this, but Broxigar's wounds and cuts begin to open back up again. As you see, like, the blood trickle towards Black Razor, and Broxigar is going to make... Uh, a beam of death attack against uh, this thing using a hundred hit points. Oh! Oh! oh. Rock cigar, you hold up Black Razor, the blood siphoning from your body to uh, forming a, a small ball at its tip. <sighs> the beam fires out through the skull of this creature. It lets out a psychic scream that has all of you holding your heads in agonizing pain before it falls to the ground. Holy shit. What the fuck? I don't buy it. <clears throat> do I get temp HP for that? You do not. Fuck me. Shit. Does it pay? Accepted by... A Black second pass. The boss music hasn't stopped. Another second passes. The what? wounds on this thing si uh, simmer and steam before it lets out another psychic scream. Uh, uh, the tentacles on the latch from the portal. and begin hey, to wave in the air, preparing to slam down on all of you. Oh, boy. Can I fly up as a reaction or something? Wait, wait, wait. It is not attacking you yet. Where did I get that HP from? It got this HP from an ability. Oh, no. Uh, yep, there it is. There it is, I was just trying to wait for it. It is a great worm. Oh no. Oh no, oh, yeah. it's not just a great worm. It is an aspect. What's yeah. a great worm? For those of you that are listening at home, this is the aspect of Metis. Based on the stat block of the aspect of Tiamat. Oh god. Oh, I don't know what any of that means. I'm scared. Oh, it uh, heals back to 500 hit points, <clears throat> recharges its chromatic breath weapon, and regains all expended uses of its legendary resistances. You? It also oh, now hey, gains hey, Emma. mythic uh. actions. Oh, hey, no. Emma, you want to nuke this bitch? Uh, no, we you are don't all want to nuke this bitch. Uh, no, not, not yet. Now. Not yet? Alright. Broxigar, no, is there a... anything else you want to do on your turn? Was well, that my action? That was an action, yes. Uh, let me double check to see if I have any other bonus actions I can do. <laughs> you can bonus action to gain healing from it. Alright, no. Can you? Uh, well, hold no, on. that wouldn't make sense. <laughs> yeah. Never mind, yeah. 
Well, fuck. Can't you second win? Like that was my big trump card blown too early. Um, second, is second win a bonus action? I already used second win. I, get, I don't have a second oh, one. Shit. Do you need healing? Yeah, you don't have a second, second win. I thought you gained multiple I don't have a when third you level up as fighter. Uh, you, you get a second... Like, you get another second win at later levels, but I don't have that yet. Mm -hmm. Uh... Fuck, uh... Wait, when did you... No, you only ever get one second wind. It's action surges it... that you can get more of later. Yeah, mm. but I still don't have even if that. Uh... <clears throat> okay. Nope, that's it for Boxigar. At the end of your turn, uh, it's boy. going to use a mythic action. Uh -huh. I need someone that's feeling l lucky to roll me a d20. Absolutely not me. The last time I did this, I, got I fucked it. over the entire party. Yep. Andy, you hear this thing let out a psychic call for eight. No, 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 no. This aid will arrive in eight rounds. Fuck it up in eight rounds, everyone. I'm gonna do my fucking best. All right. Oh, oh, oh great, now on a time limit. Also just oh, run hey, away. hey, you know what I forgot? Um, not that this makes a difference, but I'm currently wearing, uh, the fucking cloak Augustus gave me. That the Splisher cloak? Yeah. Yes. So, I don't know. Att attacks it. against Andy have disadvantage until, until, she, un until it hits, in which case it recharges at the start of her next turn. All right. Okay. What the no. fuck? It is effectively a an auto dodge. Uh, the disadvantage also disappears if your speed is zero, or if you are unconscious or dying. Alright, is Angel, are you looking at the TMS staff? <laughs> no, hold on, hold on. I'm just looking about uh, looking at what is in the chat. Award the party, uh, like towards the end, award the party an additional 155,000 XP for a total of 310,000 XP. Yep. We're gonna, we're gonna double its CR for using this ability. Basically. If we survive, we are In terms of, uh, feasting. Get, get awarded. That's a uh, big that, would, that would triple the amount of XP. That would put us over 20. Have. That is a big yeah, That would put us over 20. Yeah, okay. If okay. we survive. If, yeah, if we survive. If we survive. It is your turn. Do I still get to use divine intervention? Is that still a thing I get to use? Sure. Like the rolling thing. And what is- is that a bonus action? No, it's an action. Okay, never mind. What is your gun? I'm gonna swing at it. I think I'm gonna swing at it. Absolutely. Um. That's Broxigar yeah. dying here. Significantly increased. 30. Oh. That's what's it. Okay. So, uh, hold on. I will do some calculations for you. Give me just one second here. It's fine. That That's a total of 59. Okay. Quick maths. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Nine, that's not doing much, and I. It's really not doing much to it. That's maybe a tenth of its HP. I think at this point, it doesn't matter. Like, if you do like the big crazy shit, just keep fucking wailing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do think at this point. Can. Get his ass. Get his ass. Bet you right now. Bet um, his ass. But I am going to fly over here. Uh, Angel, do you need, like, healing? Uh, I'm at seven hit points right now. Okay, I'm going to drop the uh, thing down to you. Actually, right? if you ask Broxigar if he needs healing, you see him all cut up and fucked up. He, he's going to say... I'm fine. No, I'm fine. Sleep attacking. I'm, I'm going to say shut up, and I'm going to stick the bottle of greater or supreme in your hand. All right. And fly back up because I have the movement to do that. Already. 
Cool. But I am gonna head over this way again, just because, you know. Anyway. Roll credits. Roll on. Uh, it's going to take... Oh, boy. 18 psychic damage. That's nice. Thank you for that. New worms that are in his brain. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Why do you always catch me when I'm in the middle of reading something? Every Why time. Why? Why? Something when it's your turn. I'm no. hungry! You've got nine other turns to do shit in. You have one hit. <laughs> There we go. Total of 25. How come Erlon gets three attacks on all of his turns, but only ever gets one hit? I don't know. He's got a plus, he's got a plus 10, so he's oh, rolling really like shite. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I heal. I heal back up. Uh, how much necrotic damage does this guy take? Nine. Nine? All right, thank you. All right, I heal, and I end my turn. Thank you. Yes, back to eating my chicken. Worms. Wiggling inside of your skull. Ah! Braxton, you are awake. Oh, joy. Okay, uh, so question. If I do that special thing with Malik, will that, like, give him more hit points? Or that, or he still be sitting at one? Just... No, it would swap to the hit points of that other sheet. And is that a bonus action or a pure action to action. do that? Uh, I, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put myself in risk for not being able to heal, but I'm just gonna I, I, I'm gonna say, fuck it, fuck it. At this point, my my will make his wish, and with and with the claw and with his paw that has the other claw tattoo, he places it onto Maverick and channels his magic through through Maverick. Oh. A devastating roar sounds out as Maverick doubles, triples in size. Oh, 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 As Maverick changes from a blood claw into a dire ambusher. Oh my god. Sadly, he only has 40 feet of movement, so he can't walk much. Now that's a bit! And how much damage can he do? Uh, that depends if he gets there. <laughs> In time. Can't and survive. Hmm? He can take the dash action. Oh yeah, he can. Yeah, you know, yeah. He's just gonna, like, he, he just, like, he's brought back to life. He is fully pissed as hell. And now he's bigger, now he has bigger in all this rage, and he's just gonna fucking charge. And that's <laughs> all he can really do. Back, a full-on Tyrannosaur just charges up next to you. Oh, God. <laughs> you are surrounded by things that are much bigger than you. Yeah, that just, like, that looks to, just looks... To their left, sees Augustus trying to live through the foot, and then to their right, a big fuck you dinosaur. And they look back to to Prax and is like, "You good, buddy?" No, I am very much not good. And Vic just kind of assumes that the dinosaur came from Prax, and they look back and just like, I, I just imagine so very weak thumbs up, and it's like. Okay! Stab! <laughs> Any campaign that doesn't have dinosaurs in it is missing out. I don't care what your theme is. Put fucking yeah, dinosaurs in Curse of Strahd. Coward. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah, so that's pretty much yeah, it. Yeah, Beck is just surrounded. Just, Beck is just small. <laughs> I, I, I suppose I can't use extra attack to substitute just attack myself with a potion. No, that won't work. No. Never mind. <laughs> no, I will not allow that. I know, fair. Oh, wait! Actually! Bonus action, Nature's Veil, I hide from sight. Until next turn. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, Braxton, your your fur subtly changes color and you blend in with the desiccated forest around you. Uh, what color should I use for that to symbolize that I'm out of sight? Uh, whichever you want, really. More about uh, you can track of your stuff. I'm tag on you. Uh, let's see. Actually, perfect. Ninja Mask. Augustus. You are underneath of a foot. Ugh, okay. Um, I would like to use my channel divinity to give myself. I will use. Don't channel do divinity. Peerless athlete. I suppose bonus action. I use my thing to augment my athleticism. I have advantage on athletics and acrobatics checks. 
already. And I can shoot. And I can jump more. Already. Is that Why are they not in alphabetical order? I don't understand. <laughs> they should be. Wait, what? Yay, you make it. 26. Absolutely. Augustus, you were able to shove the foot off the field. Ugh, get back. Alright. I will then uh, fly up with my boots and then slam down with, with my spear and stab it in the foot Aww. three times. Uh. Yay! Because no. you are using a strength weapon and you just use Peerless Athlete, I will allow that second attack to hit with 28. Ooh, okay. Alright. And, uh, and a merciful god. And, and so, oh, there's nothing much for about this. This is just see. fun. Is there a limit on how many times I can smite every, on a turn? Nope. There is not. Okay. As long as you got spell slots and you got attacks, you got smites. All right. Let's uh, roll 5d8 for the first attack. Smites for days. And then 5d8 for the second. Okay. So... Uh, that is 10 bludgeoning and what is half, and 13 rounded down uh, radiant. And then uh, it's uh, 8 piercing and el and 11 radiant damage on the second. Total of 41 damage. Yeah. That's half of what Broxigar what can do on a slow day. <laughs> on a slow day. <laughs> on a slow day. On a hasteless day. Yeah. But that's Broxigar on his off day. One. He only gets one. Yeah, I'm feeling a little hungover, so I'm just a little sluggish, guys. Don't worry about <laughs> it. <laughs> the shit kick are so in. <laughs> Draw the, the day of the shit kicker. Beck, it is your turn. Yes. Like I said earlier, just like looking from like side to side, seeing this, just realizing how much smaller they are, you're just like, like, okay, stab. <laughs> which I, um, <sighs> which, um, I will use my mage hand to distract, which gives me advantage. Yep. Thank you for the self care ruse. Trying to get some water. That's yeah, not twenty. There are so many not twenties this session. Sneak attack, crit. Sneak attack, crit. Sneak attack, crit. Sneak attack, crit. Sneak attack. No damage. Yes, but remember that's only the base sneak attack. You also get uh six to. Another 42 because of the grid. Yeah. Yeah. Maximized sneak attack once and rolled again, so that's another 42. And oh. that 7 is maximized uh, can to I a 14. Can I re-roll that 1? You don't have to. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You can re-roll the 1d8 one, yeah. Hey, Coda, you're... Oh, my God. Hey, me, me. Oh, my God. Give it a Shank it, ass. Cut, cut his toes. <laughs> cut a bitch. <laughs> oh my god. That is a total of 87 damage. Holy yeah! fuck. Oh, fucking nice. That is the most damage I've ever done fucking this Fucking magnificent. You were, like, you, you, like, you, like, Beckett had, like, the adrenaline of being cornered by Augustus and this fucking T-Rex that came out of nowhere, like, and like, ah! And he was like, okay! <laughs> and this went for the tendon. <laughs> Oh my fucking god! I end my turn on a high note! <laughs> Ernest. Hi. <laughs> it is your turn. Worm. Okay, does Hurl through. I'm sorry for asking questions on each turn, but does, does Hurl through have work on magic attacks? I think it's just any attack. Is it now? Uh, okay. When you hit a creature with an attack, it doesn't say a weapon attack. So yes. So it could be a spell. Yeah. Magnificent. I'm going to cast inflict wounds. Well, I mean, 
it's an eighth level spell. It's like eighth level spell, apparently, according to. Well, what unfortunately, you gave uh, me. four doesn't hit. Shit. <laughs> you still have you still have crown of stars, right? That's bonus action. I do. I do. I do. Uh, yeah. It was. D20 plus uh, charisma and proficiency, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. That's eight. Damn it! <laughs> Unfortunately, an 18 does not hit. Mm, I'm missing a lot of things to. I don't know. Does an ability. It's, it's an attack, it's not an ability check, right? Correct. Should yeah, I use that? Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> but, uh, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> the aspect of Metis is going to make eight tentacle attacks. Mm. These first two are against Omni. No, thank you. Mm. What's your AC? He's 20. You're 19. Oh. Wait, are, those are supposed to be at uh, disadvantage, no? Ah, you are correct. No. We're going to take that imagine. much psychic and that much force damage. How much is that? Uh, these two are going to be against Maverick. Hold on, that's... Alright. So it's 73 total. Aha! Aha! He wins the psychic damage. Wee. Holy shit! These two are going to be against uh, Erlan. And that one is a twenty. What, what? the fuck? Uh, That's one hit. Yeah, one of those hits. Twenty-seven psychic and seventeen force, and okay. then these two are against R. Oh my god. Damn it, they both hit. I'm down. I I think I'm down, just from the force damage that is more than 53. Hold on, let me see if I have resistance. You had a potion. I know, but I had an occasion. I didn't think I would fuck it up. Hey Broxagram, I need that potion back. Uh, okay. If you go down, unless you go down, then it doesn't matter. Rock cigar, it's your. T oh, and before it ends this turn, it gets both of its breath. Uh, it gets its breath weapon back. Your oh, turn. Yes. Did Wait, did it only get the chromatic breath back due to the whole transformation, though? Yes, but now it got back its uh, tadpole brine breath as well. Uh. Oh no, they could still beat it. It's not impossible. It's not impossible. We already got midlife. Andi, you fall to the ground, and you transform back into your mortal form. No! Add oh, the same I'm stats that you were at before. Oh, so she's okay, not I'm unconscious. Fine. You are not unconscious. No, same, with, I... same with Ernest. Oh, shit. And I'm at full HP right now. Okay, we're good. Okay. Uh, uh, the thing is... Because, like, it's a transformation, and I don't really... Uh, I, th I think that in character, Ernest didn't really expect to just have to take back his human disguise. So, it's not Ernest that falls back, but actually Orr, as a gray, gray-skinned changeling, falls to the ground. Excuse me? Ernest is a changeling? <laughs> yes. Whoa! <laughs> What? His it's hair there. is like his hair is like full of like his hair is like like kind of gray grayish uh, purple. So don't sense. Locks. This is why you try to pass off as a human, but we have pointy ears. <laughs> you it's motherfucker! Been a year. He we has didn't know this for an entire year. Sure, he's alive. <laughs> We've been traveling for an entire year. We never found this out. Some gold cracks on on his face, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's I mean, it's just like a suspicious from the very beginning because he wouldn't sleep. 
No, that's that's because of a uh, that's because of uh, an, an invocation. Yeah, that's Especially for a human. Or human in big air glowing air quotes. <laughs> air quote. Air quote. Uh, yeah. God, that's a big reveal. <laughs> Yeah, but also, I didn't expect to be knocked out of a, of a legitimate transformation, so... It's your turn, Broxigar. Uh, Adi, you watch Broxigar drop this potion and take three attacks. Oh <laughs> my god! That was my potion! Oh, to be fair, he, he can't heal with like... To be fair, he can't heal with the sword. It's, it's not broken, I mean, it's on the ground. The ground is pretty soft, so... Okay. I wear it like swamp, I don't imagine it's broken. You better not have broken it. <laughs> I, it, it would I mean, be like if they would have broken it, he would have done it anyways. I, I don't think Garvan would have put like just a powerful potion in a flimsy glass bottle. It probably would have like made, made like maybe a chip or two, but he probably took five. Yep. Oh. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Four and not twenty from Brastica in this session alone. Okay. Uh. So that's fifteen plus. Five, so that's 20 points of damage to the first one. <laughs> I have vanilla in my DMs being Those like, are both two, so I get to re-roll both of them. Oh. Oh god, it's the same total. Okay. Uh, <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> okay. Um, so that's the 30 plus I get to uh, add two for hex. So that's 41 points of damage. Holy that's shit. That's a total of 61 so far. Uh, yes. Plus I get my hasted attack. 28. Oh. 15 plus hex. 16. Um. Yeah, okay. Uh, how much total damage was that? 77. Okay, I will use my bonus action of Blood Drinker. Uh, that. And I get well, 38 points of... 38 hit points back. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Which is probably more than the potion even would have done. Oh, probably. There we go. I'm back in double digits. Yay. <laughs> Anything else in your turn? Hell yeah. <clears throat> um, Dad is... So, I had... I used, to, uh, I used my bonus action. Yeah, that's it for my turn. <laughs> As a mythic action. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> no. I need everybody except for Praxin to make me a DC 27 dex save. As, a DC twenty seven dex. Yes, as the as the dragon <laughs> flares with light and a radiant ball of light flares out from it. Uh, uh, okay, back nope. you get a plus that? three to this. What the deck save? Fuck. Deck save DC twenty seven. Yeah, no, I don't think anyone's gonna make it. Yeah, no, no I, don't like I, I don't know why. I don't know why I even tried. No. Oh, <laughs> uh oh. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. Before I before I absolutely eat shit, uh, we went back to the stats that we were before, HP and all, right? Yes. Okay, so I was still at full health. Cool. <laughs> um oh. is this radiant something? It is radiant damage. Everybody that oh. failed the save takes 34 radiant damage. Roxigar. <laughs> yep. I'm sorry, I'm based on the rules that we've had so far in the game. Double. Brock cigar goes down. Oh fuck! Oh, okay. oh. I think there's something that hasn't ha Wait, hold on! No, 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 no! No, Brock cigar does not go down because uh, he's got a racial. Right. Uh, oh my God. Is during, when you were reduced to zero HP, but you were not killed. Unless this outright kills me. Then I am I survive at one HP. Man's not too angry to kill. Why you man's literally too angry to die? Oh, you man, too too angry too angry to die. Damn. <laughs> oh man. Shit, I have oh. to do it for Erlon. My bad. Hold up. Oh fuck. Uh, Erlon, do a death save. 
I totally forgot. I'm stupid. Also, thank God I still had the temporary HP nope. from the, yeah, he <laughs> the Elder Dragon. He doesn't make it. He is yeah, no one made it. 34 radiant damage. 34. Mm. Oh no. Oh, he, he doesn't did. regenerate next turn then either. Yes. You're correct. Oh. He will not be regenerated. Beck. Beck. You, uh, can't, you can't blame over. Beck for that. What's he at? Huh? What's he at? Uh, hold up. I did the math right. Can I say the number? Down a lot? Sure. 17. Alright, so you start standing. Alright. He's higher than me. Yeah, but did you just scream? Oh god. <laughs> just the muffled no! <laughs> I will not be holding anything back during this fight. Oh, no. We know. didn't say this. Also, oh, the I... reinforcement counter lowers to seven. Alright. Yeah, and that, yeah, like Phil said, he cannot regenerate next round. Or this round. He can regenerate next round, but not this round. Can he, still, can he still take the heal from the Quatic, though? From the sword, yes. Andy, it is Wait, why did you skip past Broxigar? Because Broxigar took Wait, a I turn. Just, yeah, I just used my turn. That was its mythic action. That wasn't even right. its turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. <clears throat> um. I think. I have a question. Uh huh. So, so far we've seen Necrotic. Radiant, um... The only damage it hasn't resisted is, uh, that you've seen is from magical weapons. From magical weapons. Right, right. So, if I cast, say, Spirit Shroud, would that make my thing, uh, like, um, What's it called? Magical? Just post the details in the spirit shroud. It wouldn't make a weapon magical. Okay. It would. It adds magic damage to it, but it doesn't make the weapon magical. Okay. Um... But did fire damage, was it just completely ineffective? Yes. Okay. Ah, uh, uh, fuck me. Um. Mm, no thanks, I think that's someone else's job. Oh my god, anyway. That's our one's job. Again. you. Uh, then I think we're gonna do this spell. So this is harm. Uh. I'm gonna unleash a virulent disease on a creature that you can see within range. The target must make a constitution saving throw. On a failed save, it takes 14 d6 necrotic damage, or half as much. And then if it fails, its hit maximum is reduced for an hour. What's your spell save DC? Uh, 18. It passes. Okay, that's fine. That's still 14 d6. So... <laughs> Where is it? Oh, well. <laughs> so half of 54 have again. Ooh, that's a lot of one. Actually, that's about the same amount of one done fixes. Damn. That is 13 necrotic damage. I'm so glad I used my sixth level spell. Better now than never. I'm still saying, Emma, we could nuke him. Not yet. Not you yet. You don't want we to have, nuke him. We're, we're all we think of him. Look at how low he is. I think Look at how low he is. thinking of a different thing than the rest of us are. Well, but we're going to be doing fire, Coda, if it's ineffective. Fair enough. And also, if honestly, honestly, if we manage to decimate that thing, by hand, I think we can just throw the nuke in the portal. We're still doing it ready because it's still we're still near the portal. <laughs> but it's on the other turning? side of the portal, in a different plane. Anything 
this a new turn on, dude? Okay, so I was near that portal, right? Uh-huh. Do I think if I shot the arrow into the portal, what would that do? You have no idea. Would it affect us out here? You have no idea. This is strange magic that you have never seen before, and you're using a strange weapon that you've never used before. You are not sure what would happen. Okay. I'll end my turn. I need everybody to make me a deck save. Is it doing the thing again? Why is it on the with lights? Wait, wait, wait hey, is it radiant fire? No, radiant is radiant. Damn it. Okay. Wait, uh, yes, wait, everybody you except for Praxin, because you're outside okay. of the radius. So, just another deck save? 20. Uh, wait, 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 wait! It's a, it is a saving throw. It is a saving throw. I'm going to add. I'm oh. going to add a d10. Oh wait, I'm right. Wait, I'm right next to. I'm at 28. I save. Well, I, have plus three. Three. I have plus three, so I'm 23 because I'm right next to uh, Augustus. Congratulations, Ernest saves. <clears throat> at a 28. Oh. Holy shit! I assume everyone else doesn't make it. Everyone else takes 39 radiant damage. Uh, Ernest, I'm gonna evasion, you motherfucker. You take half, and Ernest takes half. Um, and I take half. Or <laughs> Drop stars down. That is half to... 12. 19. Um, yeah, 19. I, I am slowly hitting the single digits. Uh, <laughs> or quick play, rather. On <laughs> Is you see Broxigar fall. No, thank you. And <laughs> you see something emerge from his body. No, thank you. I'm sorry. This has been waiting since, like, October. It has been. Oh, God. oh fuck. Uh, you I don't even be able to see that. its character shape, Broxigar. Oh, boy, this will be fun. <laughs> oh. Oh, I, as a I, I, shade I, I, emerges from his body. Oh, what's this? Are you hollow? Black Razor itself? <laughs> no. Are you hollow? Remember that child okay. from the Halloween one shot? <gasps> oh, oh my god! Oh my god! That still, <laughs> that still exists. I was wondering where the hell I completely oh, forgot god. about it. It's yeah. Been, it's been possessing Brock Cigar this whole time. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! Oh my god! Well, I knew something would happen <laughs> when don't. I dropped unconscious. I just didn't. It never happened. Oh. I sadly do not remember this child from the one shot. That you were not here was for there. this part of the one Yeah, shot. this was from no, the you, other no. one. Oh. You, were, you were here for the wolf, you weren't here for the child. Oh, well, oh <laughs> my god, I had completely oh. forgot about her. Uh, this creature will act on your turn, Broxigar. Okay. Oh. That oh. is... Oh my god. <laughs> that is fucking epic. Uh, Erlan takes... 17 psychic oh. damage. Alright, he's still wormed. Oh, worm? What? Is he alive? Worm? Is down? Technically, he should have been down last turn because he got hit again by that radiant flare. Yeah, I think so. Back. <sighs> yep. Sorry, I'm looking at something. Okay. Yes. Why are you um, looking at something? I'm just going to keep wailing. <laughs> Everything's down, down? Erlan, uh, just, Erlan took the Radiant Flare and another 17 psychic damage. Oh, shit. Yeah, I think he's down. I forgot about him. Again. I forgot about him. Uh -huh. Wow. I'm Great sorry. hiring, man. <laughs> Make a I'm death not... save. I'm not used to holding on to two characters at once. Oh yeah, yeah it must after, be so hard to run two Brilliant. whole characters, huh, Beck? Oh yeah, it must be so <laughs> hard. Yeah, I think that radiant Beck's is getting down. Beck's getting clowned on by him. Sorry, I, know, I couldn't I'm... hear you. Yeah, he's down after that radiant. Make me a death save for a for... Sorry, Emma. It's just a potion gun. Uh... <laughs> Where do I oh, do no. death saves? It's a, it's a con save. Con. Oh, it's a con save? Alright. Con. Oh no. Yeah, good. This is a four, so 16. Braxen! Alright, uh, I'm going to use 
one of my supreme healing potion and heal up for 41 heal 41 hit points. Absolutely. Uh, back up to 42, and then no I no would, worries. and then I would. Uh, do I still have uh, Augustus' boost from the start, or because I kind of died, or I kind of went down? That is only when it? you start in, in uh, when you start your turn in that radius. Okay. So you don't have so, a boost because you're not starting your turn in this radius. Okay, cool. All right, so so now I have 30. So I'm just going to move forward. Uh, let's see how far it be 30. Hard time. It'll be up to here, and then, <laughs> surprise, surprise, uh, Nature's Va Nature Vero has to limit my proficiency bonus and has no real cooldown, so, haha, <laughs> bonus action, I'm disappearing again, see ya, bitch. <laughs> um, hey, Kay? Uh-huh? I totally forgot about this, but he has Misty Escape. He turns into a pile of dust, not a dust, but he turns into mist. And Cloud? And he's gone. And it got Ah, yeah. Your lawn uh, turns into mist and uh, heads north. And he disappears. Your lawn is gone from the turn order. Shit. Yep. Uh, and, just, and just like that, he just takes the potion, steps fit forward, and just snaps his finger and, says, yeah, and just disappears again. <laughs> with nature's what does that mean with the disappearing guy with the Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much, because, mis because Nature's Veil has the limit to my proficiency bonus, which is five, and it says there's no real cool, there's no real cooldown on it. So like, so long as I have more, like I have like three other chances to use it, I'm I'm gonna use it as much as I can just to like hide from sight from this thing. It won't matter if I'm throwing line of fire, but it helps. Now it's Maverick's turn. That is. Uh, we are gonna go for a one bite. That won't hit. That won't hit, I know that. Uh, but also, one tail, because a multi-attack, that's what he can do. Fuck yeah. The the tail, hits. tail hit. Uh, and that'll be 21 bludgeoning damage from Maverick with the tail. Solid thwack against this thing, against this large, uh, large dinosaur, uh, is battering away at it. Damn, Anything damn. else in your turn? Uh, yeah, no, I don't think there's really much else Maverick can do here. I need everybody. Mm -hmm. Oh god. To make a deck save. That's Including Fraxen now? Is he yes, in range? you are now in range. Guys, no matter if I take half damage or not, Becca's down. Wait, Kay. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, so is the guy. Can I counterspell that? No, it's not a spell. Ah. Can I dispel magic that? No. Uh, oh, wait, no. No, that was okay. on, that was on the reaction. Reaction. Not a reaction. Okay, yeah. uh, okay, question. Uh, danger sense allows me to have an advantage on dexterity saving throws against the fact that I can see. Can I see this happening? Yep. Alright, so uh, I have advantage on the dexterity saving for Grafton. That's a 24. The dex is a 24, by the way, because I'm with the Grafton. Uh, uh. Nope. Uh, uh, that's two uh, that's 23, so I won't get anything from that. And Mavic may make the deck save of 17. One failed save for Broxigar. Libestus. <laughs> and save also, for Broxigar and make the save for your shave. Uh, let's save 19. What was, the, what was the DC for the thing again? 27. Yeah, no. Augustus is down. It is 40 radiant damage. The oh, wow. So, yeah, so is back. I'm brought down to two, so all that health yeah. I just got back is gone, and Mavic is, huh. Mavic is still standing at 11. Wait, yeah. hold on. Actually, let me just make sure I did that right. As... Yeah, but... I think the music is a touch loud compared to the music. Okay. Yep. Oh, shit. So, so, I'm sitting, so Mavic is sitting at 11. And I'm sitting at 2. As the dragon pulses once, twice, and three times, expending a huge amount of radiant energy from its body. Fuck, this thing's strong. God, I can't believe we tanked an Arkmorn. Uh, <laughs> oh, fuck. 
five. <laughs> uh, so far, nobody's actually dead. Those two with exiles are just got, unconscious. We just got downed. Oh, are thank we God. Going to unconscious. Yeah, we're we we're, unconscious. we're unconscious. Okay. But we're we're reaching there. <clears throat> Augustus, <clears throat> make me a death save and tell me of a memory that flashes before your eyes. Oh, fine. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, that was just... Uh, Thank you. Augustus Yay. is the first time he held a sword with his mentor. You remember that day. You were so proud. Months of training where you weren't even allowed to touch a weapon. And this day, you were finally allowed to begin your, your proper... Weapons training in the ring. One of the proudest moments of your life, Augustus, flashes before you. Back. Is that a, a success? A 14 is a success, yes. Okay. It's a DC, oh. DC 10 for death saves. Oh All my right. god. I um, got that. Let me do a death save. Nice. Good. Good. Tell me a memory that flashes before your eyes, Beck. Oh my god, um... Wait, does my aura apply to death saves? Is your aura still up while you're down? Uh, I think I'm... Yeah, 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 sorry, it goes off when I'm incapacitated. Yeah. How many people are down? Three. Two. Three. Three. Back back to go. Oh, three. <laughs> What's the number? <laughs> three. Three. Down, Brock, Cigar, Augustus, and Beck. Okay. Um. God. How's Maverick? Uh, he is getting he is getting there. So like, depending on like how the creature do, what the creature does after Ernest, uh, we'll see. Uh... I'm trying to think of something. I'm bad at thinking on the spot. I'm sorry. Um. Let's go with a nice memory. Um, just uh, a really nice memory with uh, their 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 grandma. Their grandma used to tell like a lot of like really in depth stories. Just kind of and uh, Beck has a lot of like fun memories of their their grandmama, old old squirrel. <laughs> uh, used to tell like uh, very fantastical stories about like places she's been, folk tales, etc. <laughs> that will be the uh the the memory. Just like warm, safe, entranced by the worlds that she creates with her words. You remember these <laughs> stories and you remember all of the fond times that you had. As your mind begins to fade. Oh God! Ernest, it is your turn. The creature is turning to look at you. By the nine hells, I swear I'm gonna take that gaze off of me right fucking now. I'm going to multi-attack with the packed weapon that I have, two-handed. Add that because uh, it's a long sword. Absolutely. Uh, do we just? Yeah. 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 No. <laughs> Oof. No. Oh. What the fuck? I rolled the same thing. <laughs> Ernest, you swing twice, both of your blows glancing off of this thing's teeth as it's open. Aw. Comes closer Fuck. and closer. Fuck that. I'm going to shoot a... Uh, I'm going to shoot a star mode directly down the throat. Alright. Uh, Mother plus eight, please. Yeah. 24! Does that hit? Does that hit? Does that hit? I'm hurling that thing through hell. I'm... Point this motherfucker. Oh, it is just under his breath. In infernal says, "You're going to have a nice fucking trip over there." 
and just snaps his finger, and the creature poops for a single moment and goes through a trip on my favorite rocket ship, soaring through the lower planes. Okay. <laughs> Roll the damage for um, <clears throat> well, the moat. Yeah, for the moat, because it's immune to psychic damage. Uh, oh, fuck. Ah, yeah, it, damn it! it this is out psychic damage. Damn it! I forgot. Hey, it could have been the worst. I could have made it heal with psychic damage. Uh, you're right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 17. 17 reduced to 8. <clears throat> oh my god. Anything else on your turn? Um. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. It's at the end of my next turn that the creature reappears. Yep. Okay. Alright, so we, we have time going. to heal. Y'all have time to. I'm going to scream to everyone else. Y'all have time to heal. Do it. Actually, can we figure out if we can shut this fucking portal? Never mind. No. Make Broxigar, make me a death save. And really? tell me if a memory that comes to mind. That one. Oh, oh my God. That's two what is the last memory that goes through your mind? Wait, do you have a do you have a failed death save already? I already had one failed death save because I was already down the last time it did the thing. No. So it burst. Wait, Wait, I thought it... you got back up though. No. Nope. It it way? did it did the radiant burst three times. The first time I got back up with one HP. The second time, I got knocked down. The third time, I got one failed death save. No. Okay. No. It, would it be okay if uh, Broxigar is not thinking about the past? Broxigar, in this moment, his mind was tunnel visioned on one thing and one thing only. I imagine in his mind, he is rending through this dragon and killing it and with Black Razor by his side, eating its soul. And then it cuts back to the reality where Broxigar lays there, singed with the radiant damage, bleeding out on the ground. As he, his last breath leaves his lips, there's a smile on his face. Oh, I have to take a moment. Shit. Look at that. Rock story comes to a close. He died as he lived. Like a goddamn psychopath. Alright. <laughs> 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 Uh, but he was our but he was our psychopath. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> Andy, you see this creature, this massive gargantuan dragon, get thrown down through a second portal into the nine hells. And Ernest yelling to all of you to heal. Ernest and his weird strange white-skinned white but still devil horned form. <laughs> and you look over, maybe maybe you can save Broxigar during this time. And you see his limbs fall slack. As his last breath leaves his lips. No no. No no no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Also, I just want to say, uh, Angel, this is not what I said, what I meant when I said, don't worry, I have a plan. <laughs> <laughs> I figured it probably wasn't, but, oh well, you know, plans change. Um, uh, hey, hey. I am going to DM you something in a second, also. Okay. Uh, also, okay, I would like to make a precision. Ernest is, Ernest, uh, or, actually, 
Orz is not Orz's skin is not white. It's like gray. Like ah, gray. My bad. Yeah, it's super gray. <laughs> uh, Andy, what, what was it you wanted to ask? Do you think cold would do some shit to this thing? Uh, do I think, it, or is it, or do you think? Um, based on Andy's interaction with Metis, you know, literally being a thing, a dragon, and worshipping him, and also just living with dragons, and all of the things, and also based off the fact that it seems to be immune to fire. <clears throat> you don't think any chromatic damage would do anything to it. Okay, because that's all I can do, okay? <laughs> Andi, you're sitting there contemplating this. What can yeah. you possibly do to this thing? And then all of you hear a noise. Oh no. A noise that you've heard a couple times before. Oh no. Okay. Good noise or bad noise? Coming from Broxigar. That is a questionable noise. God oh, damn it. As Black oh. Razor lifts itself up, opens its maw. Oh. I'm gonna look away. And nope. tears Broxigar's soul from his oh. body. I'm looking away. I don't think that what? I can command uh, Black Razor to stop this. What the rest since it is literally Belthrax's oh. weapon. What those of you who are looking away don't see is something flit from Black Razor back into Broxigar's corpse. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that laugh! I don't like that laugh! Andy, what would you like to do on your turn? Because there's nothing I can do against this dragon. Like, there's literally nothing I can do. All of my stuff is chromatic. You, we could take a gamble. So the bomb in the portal, there's nothing run, in there. Run away! You baby. can't run, you're knocked out, and there's eight things on the way. I'll grab me at my dead corpse and run! We are not no, I, You know what? I mean, sad. you may not be able to heal it, but, and I hate to say it, because I am 100% on the stop calling clerics heal bots thing. You have healing spells. I know. <laughs> I was... I know. But mass healing word can only do so much, and everyone was out of range. Basically the whole time. Also, um, if y'all are running, I'm staying I'm staying here. Y'all, the Broxigo didn't fucking die for nothing. <laughs> yeah, like, hit the thing. Because, like, it look, they're... they're <sighs> It doesn't heal much, but it would also up everybody that's unconscious. No, everyone was out of, like... Oh, um, yeah, 60 for you. Uh, so it's not like I could do it. You could move. Could you move? Can you move? I, I'm move? going to try. Hold on. Because uh, if you move 30 like, feet, there, which right? I assume is your... Uh, speed, uh, right? I would advise well, against that, because the dragon is going to pop up right on top of you. If you move there, you will be able to hit everybody with your mass healing word. If I move where? To where I your can't... arrow is going right now. Or Aaron's arrow. I guess one. I can't see it because Roll20 just decided to have Um, So if you move in front of the steps at the top, the end of the top of the steps. Okay. Like here? Can you see that? But then I get crushed by the dragon when it comes back in. You will not take damage. I will tell you that. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. Right here, you said. Yes. Okay. Um. Give me just one second. Sorry, roll twenty completely fucked itself, and I have to close it out and come back. So, doing my best here. I'll upcast mass healing word to fifth level, and that's my last fifth level spell. Um, hey, Frankson, you wanna you wanna nudge him a little closer? 
I'm just gonna. I'd about to say, if you wanted to, you could just take Gambo and just toss so it in the portal. So that's 13, that's 13 for everyone. 13. 13 for, for everyone. For everyone? And that's oh. a bonus action, so... And then, Kay, I have a question. Uh-huh. Uh, if I transition to Radiant Soul... Uh... You could also bonus action dash to get out of there. Or action dash. I bet. Eh. At this point. If you used your action to go into your Radiant Soul, you wouldn't have any movement because you already moved. So. You know. But yeah. At this point, I'm just trying to figure out how I can do extra damage, but. It was taking damage from Radiant. Reduced. Yeah. Hence the trying to figure out how to do extra damage, but it's fine. I guess we'll just move back. Or can I get? I can't get to the other side where people are, can I? No. If you action dashed, you would be able to get here, and that would put you outside of the area where the dragon is. Okay. But, uh, yeah. I'm not saying you have to do it. Don't feel like you have to do that. Well, I mean, it's either that or be stuck under the dragon. So. Yeah, whatever. Alrighty. Braxton. Alright. Uh. Yeah, he's gonna move another 30 feet forward. And take another potion. The Supreme Healing Potion, yeah. and I get 40 back. Oh, no, no, 50, 40, uh, 55. Uh, no, weird question. If, like, if I have Mavic move and I just lay down the potion in front of me, if he, is he big enough that he could just, like, eat the bottle? Would that count as, like, I just. I would allow it. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna lay a potion a bottle right in front of me, and Mavic is gonna you just move it to get over to where I am and just eat the potion bottle. Healing for forty seven. Damn. Those are pretty good. Yep, uh twenty six plus healing potion. Kramshi healing potion. Mm, Three. The glass is there for added taste. Yep, I might add da. And I, okay, that was two, was so I'm gonna date that from seven to five now. Who has and all I, the other potions? Braxton? Yeah, I have five left. I just need to get over to you and not die from when the dragon comes back. Augustus, it's your turn. You are awake. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, you have a body? Oh, no. Uh, uh... Oh no, T-Robotic circuit. No. Oh, I'm We'll give him a second. Yep. I think we need more music. It's still playing. Is it? Oh. Yeah. oh. It was like so low for some reason. Did you have your turn down? It's a playlist. So no, it was... It, like, it was at a normal volume from even before, and it just got quiet. Some of the songs are a lot louder than the others, so... Shaka, you there? Shaka? We can't hear you. Alright, I'm back. Hey. Welcome back. Hey. hey! Okay, I'm gonna put in my last remaining 15 Lay on Hands into Beck. Oh, thank yeah. you, buddy. Heal for you hit points and remove any diseases you, diseases you may have. I do not have any diseases, thank you. How much do right. I? Congratulations, <laughs> Beck, you no longer have rabies. Well, I... <laughs> Thanks. You no longer have fleas. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I'm cured. Remember, your one-stop shop for vaccination. Augustus. Damn, I can't believe it. He's pro-vaccination. <laughs> of course he is. 
I mean, technically, technically, you know, we're not going to get into that conversation. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we literally had an episode where we stopped a pandemic. That's yeah. also true. Anyway, we are. I still feel like we should run. To where? Away. There's eight things inbound to this spot. Oh yeah, and that's that why we the... should leave. Thank you for reminding me, the, the uh, assistance counter uh, went down to six last turn. So we be running towards them? I mean, we are not. We got it on the ropes. We can do this. No. Or, like, like, we don't know the outcome, but we could just toss the nuke in the portal. Thanks. That would that would not do anything. Okay. It has to hit something. Well, there is a realm on the other side, isn't it? Aha, uh -huh. there's another plane of existence. Okay. There you have your answer. Quick, quick and question. Also back... Quick question. If I were to mulligan and just walk through the portal, what would have happened? You would have to know. walk through to find out, my gamer. You gotta pull the mulligan. Can yeah. I mulligan? No. On your turn. No, we gotta go. We need to go home. We have families. We Beck, Beck you feel the, gl the most glacial there on your neck. We gotta leave! And you see or looking at you glaring oh, like yeah. we are not leaving. Alright, okay. <clears throat> Anything else I'm in your turn against us? Uh no. Back. <laughs> yeah. Any uh what would you like to do? Anything? Mm, to be honest? Beck has the right mind to just hightail it. Yeah, but like, where would you go? Where would you go? You got eight of those. You got eight of the older brain suckers inbound. Are we surrounded in them? I never what? said how many were coming. I said that it was going to take eight rounds for them to show up. Uh, yeah. it's still got stuff inbound though. Yeah, yeah. but we got also. There, there would there be time to escape before we got here. Though. Could just run. What? We're, we don't know if we're surrounded. They could be coming in from the north, but we should go to the south. Just run. Where? Anything else? Away! In your turn? <clears throat> yes. What? Anything else you would like to do in your turn? This conversation is definitely been more than six seconds. Mm -hmm. I really want to run! <laughs> if you want to run, then run. You want to do it, then do it. Or end your turn. Uh. You know what? Uh, it's would really be in character for Beck. I think I'm gonna run! Go for it. Oh! Invisibility! Cast invisibility and run! Beck vanishes from everybody's eyes. If you wanna, if you wanna live, stay here, die. That's on you. But I'm out of here. Poof. <laughs> oh boy, there goes back. Ernest is shy. He just pulls the most fucking angriest face ever. Angry face. How do I remove? Um. Okay, I have a question. There we go. Yeah, I'm gone. Yeah, what's up? Uh. You mentioned something to Andy earlier about not taking damage if placed. It won't if... give you any advantage either, if that's your question. No, but do, do I take damage or am I just going to get relocated to my spot? You will get shunted back out of its space. Do you have a po don't you have a potion on your hand? Or did Andy have it? Broxigar. I am so sorry for this. But. We still have need of you. Please. What? Please. Please get back up. You attempt to raise Broxigar as an undead, and nothing happens. Uh. <laughs> oh, something I th inside I, Broxigar? I think he Black does Radio have 13 no. HP. But he counts as a corpse, right? No. Oh, fuck. It's all the thing in Black Radio. When you guys were looking away, something transferred from Black Razor to him. To be fair, I think only Andy was the one that said she looked away. They looked away. That's fair. 
Mm. I just didn't want to go insane again. Anything else, Ernest? Shit. Oh, God. Um... I don't think I can bonus section w w wiggle back to my place with <laughs> Oh, don't you worry, because you're getting shunted to there anyway. Yeah. As it returns through a <laughs> reopening in the portal oh. to the Nine Hells. Sorry, I don't think I can make a last turn action, right? Um... Like holding a bonus action Hello, to shoot a shoot my boats as sure. it appears. I'll allow it. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing that. I'm holding my boats to shoot it as soon as it appears. Uh, roll twenty plus eight, please. Five. <laughs> that misses. The. Aspect of Metis is going to make eight tentacle attacks. Oh, um. I am. Going... Oh wait. Um, is it immune to cold damage or just resistant? It is immune. Fuck. Because free mode, it started its turn within five feet of me, so cold damage. But if it's immune, fuck. <laughs> Uh, against Andy. Roiding Flare, uh, disadvantage. That's one mess. Okay. It's 20 Psychic and 24 Force damage. That's fine. These two are against R. Ernest. Oh. Huh? Fuck it up. That's a lot. How much is it? Uh, well, that 27 gets maximized to a 34, so, and that 10 gets maximized to 36. What's the total? So, that is 34 plus 36 plus 14 plus 20. 122. I think you've just been decimated. I've been decimated, but it's not enough to kill me. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm uh, just gonna get out my cat here later. Just assume that I'm down for now. <laughs> this one's gonna go against Augustus. Okay, that'll hit. For 20 psychic and 15 force. Uh, I am down. And then the last the two are thing. gonna be again at Andy and at uh, Ernest. Are you fucking Kuda grassing me? So. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, are you down? I thought you said you were still up. I am down! You said you were still up. But no, up I die. said I'm going to get on the calculator, assume that I'm down, because I obviously am after taking 100 and some damage. Oh, never mind. Um, one of these is at, uh, um, actually, no, you're in range. Uh, these are against Braxton. I'm at minus 51. Holy shit. Oh, oh, both of them, or one? Those are both at you. 35 and 20. Oh, oh yeah, they both hit. Oh, uh, that's 49 total damage. Huh. Please resist, y'all. Uh, for 49 total damage? Yep. Yeah, surprisingly, he's still standing. Alrighty. He's in a single digits, but he's still standing. Black Razor, it's your turn. Oh. <laughs> you start this round at full HP. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I've been waiting so long for some idiot mortal to die with me on their hand. <sighs> I want. I want to say. I, I want to say. Like, I, you sound different, but with the way Vasco is acting, I honestly don't know. <laughs> uh, and uh. Like Black vision. Razor will just say To use me as a beam, my power as a beam is so ineffective. You lose so much power with the travel. And you'll see the the blade arm begin to like glow uh, oh. and radiate these black flames that like burst into this inferno. And 
Uh, Black Razor will use Beam of Death, but flavor it a bit differently. Uh, as like this huge multi arc slash uh, at this thing, uh, giving 150 HP uh, to do 300 damage to this thing. Oh my god! Uh oh. Black Razor, oh. the, the rest of you all see Brock Cigar's body get back up. And sever the head off of the aspect of Metis. Oh my god. Black Razor gains 750 temporary HP. Oh! oh. I'm sorry, that's just gross. <laughs> How much damage did he did they do to this thing? You get uh, uh, temp HP equal to its max. Oh, you did out my kill it. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah. So, uh, I did oh. 300 points of damage to this thing, and that was enough to kill it. Okay. Uh, so, um, can I describe what happens? Absolutely. So basically. <clears throat> Brock Cigar's body gets back up. You see the blade begin to erupt in this inferno of black fire as uh, Black Razor begins to walk towards it, slashing and hacking at this thing. But instead of just causing cuts, you see the, the blade itself, it's eating through parts of it, and they're being absorbed into the blade itself. And as it's continuing to walk through, being fully immersed in this thing, you see Broxigar's mouth grow unhinged and begin taking bites of this thing as it continues to hack through until this thing is completely <laughs> absorbed into Black Razor's blade. Oh, Jesus. Fuck. So, uh... Mm. Andy and Augustus... I'd absolutely look away. Is it, is it Augustus? The two of you feel your hearts tear in half. We're gonna gut it down. As no, you up. feel your connection oh. to Metis die. That's not right. Oh. As the god of war is snuffed from this world. Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh my god. This, this motherfucker is a god. Uh, uh, Black Razor will turn over his shoulder and look at Augustus. A powerful warrior would make an excellent dessert. Oh, no! <laughs> no! Absolutely okay. not. Okay. No. <laughs> Friends, please, uh, I have this one. Get for ready how for long phase I know three. Not. Uh, is... So Black Razor was maintaining concentration. Would he have maintained concentration of haste through Brock Cigar's death? Unfortunately not. Okay. All right. No hasted action. That's probably Bondi? all. <laughs> got you. Bond the contingency. Oh oh, uh, no, no, I have two contingencies. Um. I will remind okay. you that Brock Cigar has 750 health above his maximum right now. That's not something we can deal with. No, and, I know. I don't want uh, anyone else to have to die, though. Broxigar's already dead. You Black can Razor. hear Beck's voice sing in your ear. Run away! That, uh, that's all Black Razor could do on his turn. Black Razor, uh, you sense from the other side of this portal billions of souls. Oh. Oh. Andy. It is your turn. I know. P push him into portal. P push it. Push him into no, portal. Do not let can't. him get in that portal. <laughs> Think of how much power he can gain in there. <laughs> Wait. You'd oh, be no, doing me a favor. <laughs> yeah, but like, what can we do? Andy, I don't care what has to happen. He does not go through that portal. I know. I want to say something, but I'm unconscious. I need to shut up. Okay, uh, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get through the portal. What? What? I'm what? going through the portal. Whoa. And I'm using the contingency. 
Oh. It is the other side of the portal. Oh shit! <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh fuck. no. Alright. <clears throat> yeah. Everyone, you all see Andy. I'm don't, I do not. <laughs> fly through this portal. And you can see her on the other side of it. You were able to see through it to this other plane. She begins to pull out the bag and the hole. But she stops. And clutches her head, screaming in agony. As the voices of billions assault your mind. Hey, it was already put together. All I had to do was drop it. I know. And you are in agonizing pain. But... You fight through it. And the next thing all of you know... You're standing in a field. Together. Uh-huh. Beck, Roxigar, or Braxen, Augustus, Andy. You all are standing in an open field, all grass blowing in the wind. You're not sure if you're there for a second or a century before a figure walks towards you. We're dead, aren't we? Welcome home. Hi. Yep, we're dead. We're dead. Bethlehem um. greets you as you enter the land of the dead. Excuse me? You were still in wait, like, nothing said that, is that 30 miles of that thing. thing. Yeah, you were still in the forest, you were dead. People. Ah, running away didn't help. The people yeah, entire... of Yulon, from Hero's Rest to the Golden Martians, feel the tremor. As. The Elder Forest implodes, leaving a massive crater and killing everything in the area. The city of uh, Andra City, the capital of the Empire, is wiped off the face of the earth in one Ocean's bounty. blow. Would Ocean Bounty caught in that blast? Yeah. The Jade Wings are destroyed. And every single remaining adult dragon in this part of the world is killed. But the portal is destroyed. And so is every single aberration on the continent. What about the other realm? And the only thing remaining is a golden nut. (laughs) (laughs) The only thing remaining in this crater is a skeleton. Cassandra skeleton? The skeleton slowly gets up. Uh. Brushes itself off. If it's Broxigar, I'm gonna fucking cry. As Cassandra looks at the destruction you all wrought. Knew it. Ugh. <laughs> oh, well, that was a bit extreme, wasn't it? And that is where we are going to leave it for the Jade Wings Company. 
Mm. What a way to end the Jade w this, this campaign. Oh, we ended right. by ending the Jade well, wing. Now, I'm not gonna say I fucking called it, but uh, I had some big brain plays bringing up that portable hull, didn't I? Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> Like, yeah, uh, but I kind of hoped that, well, you, you know, know kind of like, you know, like we imploded the, the like, continent, the but, you we know, did, at the Black very least, has gone, at least. Yes. At the very, yeah. Several at the very, powers in this world are gone. Black Razor has been uh, atomized. The Elder Brains and the path to whatever dark plane of existence the aberrations came from is closed and destroyed and one of the gods is dead I think we need music later Do you want to know something kind of heart wrenching on Praxis side of this? The last time he ever spoke to his parents was a note telling that he left because he ran into Beck. That, he never actually no. properly said goodbye. No, that's the last time Andy saw her parents. She didn't even see them and she just yelled at them and then left in the middle of the night. The last time. <laughs> Or saw his father, and was like, mm, you know. <laughs> none of our, none of our mother. mother. We get mother. no chance to tell our family oh. goodbye. The last after mm -hmm. the event. My master is dead too. Vorsigar <laughs> 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 is in heaven, and she, he no, sees his no. fucking master just oh pop god. right next to him, and he's like, oh fucking god damn it! Just smack him upside the head. Vorsigar, <laughs> absolutely, what the hell? There's uh, no last fucking time way. Oh, here. Saw their parents was maybe two and a half years ago. Right at right before they left on the convoy where they lost their nut. <clears throat> they haven't gotten home since they lost it because they were too ashamed and too like stubborn to go back without it. Anyway, can I continue DM months after? Months after the event. In the Hall of the Gods, those that remain gathered. Eulonis, Bethelin, and Seclaris. <laughs> deliberating over what to do, what and how they could keep anything this devastating from happening again. And so they decide to split up the world. Oh? There will no longer be a king or queen of the gods. Every deity will claim a part of the world as their own and govern it, as a god does. And to help facilitate never allowing anything that devastating to appear on this plane again. So Chloris weaves four creatures into being. And so the Age of Titans begins. Oh! <laughs> Living thunderstorms patrol the sky. Great mountains move. The seas are full of eyes and tentacles. Of course they are. <laughs> and the great fire lives, dies, is reborn, and watches over the world. As the four great titans begin their vigil of 
for the world. Thank you all so very much for joining us in this journey. And keep your ears out for the start of Act 2, The Age of Titans. <laughs> Thank I you, just... and good night. I just... I just... I...